What's up, guys? Put them on. Um, today's gonna be a little bit different. I, uh, let's start by, uh, oddly enough, I need to unmute Chrome <clears throat> today because, um, yeah, today we're going to do, um, <laughs> it's gonna be a weird stream. It's basically gonna be like a, let me put it here, okay. Behind the scenes uh, video. Well, I do much needed editing. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, the YouTube channel hasn't, uh, I haven't updated anything over here since, uh, around my birthday or so, which was, uh, yeah, <laughs> a little while ago. So, uh, yeah, long story short, um, I guess I'll just keep it on just chatting here. Um, if you guys want to chat, or, I mean, if you happen to be a YouTube subscriber and also a Twitch follower, um, now's the time for questions. So, the perfect time for any, you know, uh, questions. You know, as far as, you know, so as far, then I mean that as far as, you know, like, oh, what'd you do in this video? Or where's this, or where's the new episode? You know, that's a, a very common question. You know, where's this episode? Uh, is this, is this series on hiatus? You know, that's, uh, <laughs> uh, what about that good old Dragon Ball Z, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, maybe I'll stream some Dragon Ball Z today. Maybe I will. You know, it's just, uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to start by going up to, what's funny is I'm pretty sure this series is always ready. Um, uh, by the way, you guys can hear Chrome, right? Yeah, you can. Okay. So, yeah, what's funny is like, you may hear, um, obviously I'm not going to show, uh, you know, obviously I'm not going to show, like, oh, you know, my, uh, everything in my, uh, editing software, and I'm not going to screen share Chrome, that's a little, yeah, it's a little risky on my part, because, uh, at some point, some personal information comes up here, um, when I go through my YouTube channel and stuff, uh, you know, into the editor mode, um, but anyway, let me pull up this series. I'm pretty sure this series, I actually have some episodes queued up, and I, I really should have just had them firing off um, first thing Monday. It's just I I got busy, man. I got busy, and anyway, let's see here. Uh, enough procrastinating flood. All right. Let's just head in here. Okay. Right, there's Time Wizard Fail. Let's let's look this up. No, let's look this up. <clears throat> and then let's look this up. Because I'm pretty sure I can post this episode like right now. Um Hey guys, just figured I'd uh, cut in here. Yeah, Joey uh, succeeded the last two turns using Time Wizard, so... There's that. Now, what I usually do is edit video right here. What's funny is I'm describing what I'm doing, but uh, you can't see it on screen. But that's okay, you know, it's, um, you know, it's, it is what it is, you know. I can't, I have to make sure I don't... Hey guys, wrapping up this single duel against Jill. And I think we got enough damage on board to win here, so... Luckily, I got out Cosmo Queen pretty early. He didn't... Graceful should... Like, why does the AI hold Graceful? I don't understand, but, uh... Yeah, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, uh... We got out Cosmo Queen pretty early. He didn't have, like... Zombira the Dark and X-Raider this time, so... Helps us pretty good when he, you know... 
play some of his weaker stuff like his battle warrior. Fights with his bare hands, man! No, watch out! Ooh, and we did not Not too much. Uh, what can I title this one? <laughs> That's actually a good title. Uh... Uh. Here, that's what's up. See if he, he will. This we will go here. Uh, for the playlist recommendation, I'll recommend <laughs> that series, and also will recommend the yeah, <laughs> the uh, yeah, the uh, all cards run that I'm doing right now. So um, for the description, I'm just gonna put in this one. Hey guys, not. We end up uh getting. Another W on Joey and the King Dragon of Raw that you that we don't really any good cards. That's my cool though. <laughs> yeah, there's the description for that, and then all I have to do is, uh, yeah, I'm gonna premiere this right now. It's in premiere, all right? We already got the end screen. I just need to make sure the tags are uh, also, I need to choose a thumbnail. Any with Cosmo Queen in it? Nope. That's fine, actually. Um, mm -hmm. I can actually put Cosmo Queen here and then tags them. There we go. <laughs> uh, gaming, yeah. Uh, this. There we go. And boop. And boop. And take that a second. And then we go. Easy. <laughs> yeah, so that one was just like ready to queue. Yeah, I really should have taken care of that uh, first thing Monday or Tuesday. But uh, nah, it's fine. And, uh, right now I should mute Chrome here because uh, the Premiere sound is always pretty loud. Yeah, there we go. And then I can mute this exact tab. There we go. And then I can and I can unmute. There we go. Okay. So that one's good to go. Um you know what? Uh sure, while I'm here, <clears throat> I guess I can tweet out the fact that I'm uh live here and stuff. Uh <laughs> What what will I put on the tweet? Uh, behind the scenes day. I mean, that's basically what this is. So, I uh, <laughs> uh, no, no. But the uh, yeah, the uh, premiere I just worked on is actually right here. So, if you guys are just really, really, really interested in it for whatever reason. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Um, <clears throat> very short clipped on that one. Um, <laughs> what's funny is like I know what I really, 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 really need to work on. Um, yeah. Um, how's how's your day going so far, Iga? Um, yeah. So today we're we're gonna find uh the uh, the lost episode of Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, Forbidden Memories. That's uh, yeah. It's time to stop. You know. 
Yeah, delay in the process. Yeah, so uh, here's the deal. is Basically, I confused myself. Not really confused myself, but because I'm lazy and didn't... Uh, yeah. I have a feeling I know which episode of Forbidden Memories I need to upload, you know, from my desktop. But it's going to be a process of finding out which one's correct in order, you know, so... Um, I know of uh, Rick like <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but uh, happy Friday to you. Glad you made it to the weekend and uh <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hope you have a good one. Um not a problem, Megan, not a problem. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. By the way, you guys are watching, you know, on YouTube, which uh, chances are you might. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, come over here to Twitch and follow Iga. She's cool, man. You know what I mean? Like, she's cool. Uh, <laughs> she's one of my mods. Like, uh, no, no, no. But her streams are, like, legit fun. Like, sometimes she'll just stream, like, you know, uh, games everyone can play, like Uno or Fall Guys or, um, you know, Master Duel. She'll do, like, viewer duels. You know, yeah. And just go check her out, man. Give her a shot. Um, give her some love. Give her some follows over there. Because I think she might be close on... Uh, well, yeah. more followers is always good. Go support Iga. Do it because I told you so. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, check her out. and Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see here. So I need to close this. Um, this is done. So now... I can close this, close this. Hey guys, how's it going? Pretty sure we got another one wrapped up. Got Slate Warrior all the way up to $2,700. Didn't lose any life points, so going pretty, pretty good. And we'll have Slate Direct Attack. There we are. All right, we win. You win. All the way up to $2,700. Didn't lose any life points, so going pretty, pretty good. Oh, yeah, and one. we'll have slight direct attack. There we are. All right, we win. You win. Your time. All right. Yeah, give me one more match. I know I can beat you, blood. I bet you could, Joey. I bet you could. Um, we got alligator sword. That's not bad, you know, early in the game. So we got Alligator Sword and Kojikosi. So I think I'll title that one uh, Alligator Sword. Uh, close this. Go here. Let's go to... Right, I can take this off now. Um, yeah, there we go. I can go here. Oh, right. I can share on... Uh, <clears throat> Usually whenever I post a new episode on YouTube, I'll share it on my uh, uh, my uh, Twitter. <laughs> yeah, let's not forget how the process works, Josh. Uh, I can tweet this out and yabba dabba do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sometimes my Twitter takes quite a long time to uh, load. Uh, but no, yeah, seriously, I hope you guys are having a pretty good Friday. Uh, sorry about this different kind of stream. You know, I don't really know, um, <laughs> how this type of stream will do, but, um, yeah, I mean, it just needs to get done, you know, <laughs> if I have to, you know, work right here in front of you guys, then yeah. Cause I also didn't want to just be like, Oh, you know, I'm not streaming today. So <laughs> I was just like, Hey, how about we queue up good old just chatting and yeah, if you guys want to chat, I'll chat, you know, but if, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, some people have asked for, uh, especially on Facebook, people watching the Facebook VODs have asked for like, oh, yeah, I'd like to see, you know, behind the scenes, like, you know, just kind of listen to your thought process or whatever. Like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> well, this is the stream for you. Yeah, you're you're welcome. I, uh, <laughs> you know, so. Uh, anyway, uh, we can close this now. Um, yeah, I'll name this one. Uh, have I already named something Alligator Sword? That's the question. Uh, Panther War, okay. <laughs> uh, 
I don't think I have. Well, that's good. So, looks like it will have a unique title. Okay, yeah, in this playlist, nothing's named Alligator Sword. So, this works. Um, so, um, no, it should be this tab. Yeah, there we go. And instead of that, um, dash. Oh, okay, yeah, and I can definitely tell this is where I stopped editing, because once I go to the end screen, yeah, there's, like, in the description, there's literally nothing. There's not even links. There's no, uh, this one will take me a little longer than the last one, because the last one was clearly ready to just be queued up and just, boop, you know, hit publish, done. <laughs> this one, all that's in here is, like, I'll just tell you guys, is the usual, um, uh, boiler uh boilerplate tags so basically i need to copy this whole thing whole description yeah and then uh, come over here to the alligator sword episode paste that yeah yeah because there weren't even any hashtags no links um uh now i need to describe this one quickly so let's describe this one okay <laughs> i'm gonna put how's it going uh, in today's episode, we've got another easy win against Joey. <laughs> Luckily, comma, I got out Force Raider turn one and coasted to the victory. Um, we pick the Slifer statue here and uh, end up getting two pretty good pulls or cards. Um, Koji Kosi, Koji Kosi, Koji Kosi, and Alligator's Sword. Um, I'm gonna just put it's one of Joey's signature monster signature battle city monsters. Yeah, there you go. Um, and honestly, these monsters with 1500 attack are way better than anything in your starter deck. So that's what I'm gonna put in the description. Um, or, They are lead of uh, any monster in first uh, 40 cards of each starter. Uh, also, with Dragon. It's helpful if not copy Joey's deck in this game. There we go. <laughs> all right, and I'll just put a thanks for watching. There you go. So, all right, there we go. There's the description for that. Let's save. Uh, let's make this public once again. Let's, uh, now I'm pretty sure I'll have to go down here and delete these old tags. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, let's put, uh, here. Let's check on chat here. Okay, chat here looks good. And then we'll go with sword. And then alligators. So I'll need to remove a long tag. There we go. So alli. Gator. There we go. So there we go. And uh, go. and uh, okay. And go. And oh, once again in the category, I could put Dawn of Destiny. Dawn. All right, there we go. And now we're going to premiere this episode right after I just premiered the other one.
So that's good. Got two of the, the uh, <laughs> so funny, I titled this series the uh, Quick Play, Dawn of Destiny, but uh, <laughs> I just went ahead and did the finale for, um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, the main, I mean, obviously you guys know by now, we've done the finale for Dawn of Destiny, so, you know, it's pretty funny, but I, I noticed we were so close to the end, you know, you know, when I came back in July and started YouTubing again and recording, I was just like, why would I bother with the Quick Play series? And I'm almost done with the main series. Uh, and, and on hindsight, I was just like, I don't even know why I started the Quick Play series. Well, I know why. It's because we were in the middle of grinding for some certain spells and traps. And what's funny is, like, I just got Pot of Greed, you know, in, in the post game, <laughs> And, like, that was one of the cards I was grinding for. Um, it's just a matter of luck sometimes, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> Pretty funny how that works out. Um, but, uh. Anyway, let's grab some, uh, oh, I should mute, uh, Chrome here, by the way. That's good. Okay. Because, yeah, the premiere sound's gonna be kind of loud. Oh, it's actually muted. That's good. All right. There go. And, um, there go. All right, well, we can close this now. Um, now, I think we're to the end of the playlist, actually. Yes. Oh, no, no, we're not. There is another one, which I will save until next time. Um, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, let's let's um, hmm. um, another thing I need to do today before I look for. <laughs> so, um, let me just tell you guys something. Um, you know how I was just mentioning the forbidden memory stuff, and you know how I'm kind of lazy. So uh, right now, I think I figured out why Master Duel. You know how um like oh uh, well it really we haven't had this problem lately, thank God. But you know how last weekend, uh, Master Duel like my computer was just acting weird. Master Duel was failing to launch, you know stuff like that. Um. Now, part of that, I did tell you guys I spilled, like, water in my laptop. That is a major concern. Uh, something else I thought of, though. Go here to my... Okay. Yeah, something else I thought of. So, we, if I pull up my uh, hard drive here, <laughs> the C drive, there's only 30 gigabytes free. Now, what that means is... <laughs> I need to delete some stuff. So, for example, right here on my desktop, I have a folder that says let's play Civ 3. And as you guys know, Civilization 3 is completed. It's been completed for time. Um, yeah, so basically, I don't even know what civilization this is from, but let's pull this video up. I'm pretty sure I can delete all of the all of these Civilization 3 files. Um, the only one I might want to look out for is, uh, well, anyway, let's pull this up. The only one I might want to look out for is the recent space, race to space, uh, VODs, because that's new. Um, yeah, here I'm just playing with the Aztecs, like, positivism. Yeah, and like I'm pretty sure I've already uploaded all these. Well, mainly because of the year. The year is in BC. So. Yeah, and this is like 250 BC. Right, and I almost remember this map too. The way this map. Yeah, and like I'm pretty sure we have all these uploaded already. So let me just go ahead and delete these because. Yeah, and some of them are like two hour long. So, yeah, let's start with that. Let's see how much space that frees up. Empty recycle bin. Okay, now let's go back to PC here. Okay, see, now we're at 30 space free. Let's go to my videos here. Right, and I remember this, uh, where it has Mako Extended Cut. I'm pretty sure I have this uploaded, too, on my YouTube channel. You know what? Before I delete this one, though, I do love the music on this. So let me. 
but let me see if um we have this um I can take my shoes off here by the way. There we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, this was filmed in 2016. Yeah. Okay, because I'm pretty sure... Uh, man, what is it? Well, anyway, tell about right, you know, blood lover? I see. You're in blood. So that's interesting. How come now, if he starts... Yeah. I would watch you... I'm pretty sure I have this, you know, uploaded. Um, Let's go here to my... Uh, yeah, I could have deleted this so long ago. Um, you know. Oh, I can close some of these tabs, by the way. Looking at some tabs last night. Yeah. Okay. Like, dude, yeah. <sighs> oh, I feel like something's in my eye. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's close. I even had the dual logs on. It put me to sleep. Um. Okay, now. Ooh. RDC World came out with a video game house six. Ooh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's refresh this. Uh, some of this stuff YouTube recommends you is just it's just quite funny. Um, nice. Right. I guess it's this card. Hmm. Oh wow. Um, go. Yeah, and there's also some Pokemon Platinum randomizers of odds that I'd like to post. Uh, speaking of Pokemon Platinum, luckily the last time I remember playing, I uh, harvested the berries, but I didn't plant them, so we should be good there. Um, I might have wasted some honey and stuff, but that's okay. I'll probably play some Pokemon to. You know what? As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, while it's on my mind. While it is right here on my mind. Let's screen share for just a second. Okay, well, oh, no, 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 let me, let me focus here. Okay, so let me go here. If I can find this uh, Mako Extended Cut. Because I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's on my channel. So we go here. Because you can search uh, stuff in your, well, see, the problem is, did I title it the same thing I have it titled on my desktop? Usually I don't, so, but uh, anyway, here we go. Make a... Oh, here it is, yeah. Yep, there we go, wow. All I did was type in Mako. So luckily, yep, and I even see the... <laughs> okay, so we can delete this video right here, yeah, because it's literally, I'm sitting right on it as far as... Yeah, okay, so we close this. We close this. Okay. And also, here in my videos tab, like, there's a ton of Dawn of Destiny episodes. So, and what's funny, as you guys know, is I've already had the finale for Dawn of Destiny. Uh, there's also some um, Bliss of the Roses stuff here, too. Now, I'm not going to get too far. I mean, it's a safe bet to say, man, I could probably delete all these. But I'm not going to get too far in the editing for that. One thing I am going to do here, though, go over here to my captures folder. Yep, because there is another, um, yeah, there's another Civilization 3. And I'm pretty sure I can just delete that, yeah. Um, and now, next folder, right, we go to Halo, the Halo 2 folder with Diego. 
and we get more Civilization 3. I'm like 99% sure these have already been uploaded. So we can just... Yeah, mm -hmm. we can delete these. So, yeah, these, again, and again, the length of these, um, 40 minutes, an hour, two hours, 39 minutes. Yeah, like, these take up a lot of space. So, there we go, and there we go. Okay, so there's the, those civilization, you know, VODs deleted. And there we go. So, all right. And now my computer space is at. It's important to do this maintenance right here. Definitely important. Um, this PC. Yeah. Now we're at 50 gigabytes for AC. That's a lot better. Um, obviously I prefer there to be at least 100 gigabytes free. But you know that's a good start. Um, <laughs> also if I go here to Madden 12, this folder on my desktop. I'm pretty sure, yes, there is a, okay, this is kind of like a discussion video, and I'm pretty sure I already uploaded this. Let me just type in Madden while I have this on my, and, and then we're going to play some Pokemon. So it's around, how long is it? 23 minutes, and yeah, here it is. I think 23, 23, and the length on this is, um, 2322. So, yeah, that is pretty. Yeah, let's click here. For each other. You just have to of my new upcoming Let's Play. He's searching for. There we go. So, let's go about six minutes in. And then let's go to the YouTube. In the same video I just. Uh, oops. Let's go here. Uh, oh, by the way, I guess I can close this. Yeah, that is. Uh, I can close this and this. Um, oh, I had my, my, uh, mail open. Yeah, my Yahoo mail. Okay, that's fine. You know what? I'll keep that open. I might get some, uh, art submissions. While I, yeah, I might get some art submissions today with that. Or, uh, you never know. Just some random comments. Uh, but yeah, let's click here on this video. <laughs> and let's go, uh, where am I at here? Six minutes in? Six minutes and thirty six forty five. So let's go here, go here, and then let's go here. Okay, and then let's pull this tab over here. And let's see if I'm queued up with this, because I'm pretty sure I am. Uh, yep, because I even see like the Civ poster, the angle, the angle perfectly matches. Right, and I can unmute. Drafted way back in 2001 out of Virginia Tech. A double threat through the air and on the ground. The 21-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. He's searching for a receiver. He rolls to his left. There's a flag on the play. He's dropped, and that's a huge sack. And this one looks like it's going to come back. There's no poor judgment on that play. You have to be aware of the situation, and that's a big first down. Shut up, Chris. So the penalty pushes them. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's... Yeah, Chris Collinsworth is such a hater in this game. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we can delete this, obviously. So, there we go. And 100% deleted. Okay. And then let's I'll go to pictures here. Yeah. And what's great about having done the finale for, uh, you know, stuff like Dawn of Destiny or even Pokemon trading card game. What's great is, uh, and I probably should have realized this earlier. Um, yeah, basically those folders I have set aside, like right here on my desktop, I have a folder for Pokemon. As it literally says, Pokemon the trading card game, and how many, how many files are in here? 
10. Yeah, I can delete all these because we've already done the finale. Like, unless one of them's something I've forgotten about having to do with the computer machine. You know, there may be one more episode of Trading Card Game that I forgot to... Ooh, yeah, okay. Okay, so... um, I hadn't considered that. Okay, but I'll delete these first. Because, yeah, these first five are who are the, uh, the Grand Masters. So I can delete that because I know... I know we've already done it, so <laughs> so there you go. Um, and then yeah, recycle bin. Easy maintenance, maintenance, man. Today is a maintenance day, so yeah. PC, boom. Okay, okay. So yeah, so now we have again not as much space as I'd like, but like we have twice the space free as when I first started. Now we have like sixty gigs free. <laughs> Crazy, so. Yeah, some of this is just pure laziness on my part. So, you know, yeah, freeing freeing that much space may actually help quite a bit. Um, and so now, also have some five Ds here. Ooh, the only problem is I don't know <laughs> which of these we've uploaded and which we haven't. Um, at some point, wait, five Ds. Yeah, I can edit some five Ds today too because I'm pretty sure I have that queued up probably queue up 5ds you know for the usual time slot like at uh, 3 p.m so yeah uh but for now we can do a little bit of gameplay so what i'll do for this stream is you know obviously like i said we're doing behind the scenes and gameplay and stuff um i think what i'll do is uh yeah we'll do some kind of intermittent gameplay that's a fancy where did that come from intermittent Oh, okay. Wow, that light actually is helping. I wasn't sure it was back there, but uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Click on here. Let's click on downloads. Let's click on. Look at all these vods too. The Twitch vods. Yeah, the Twitch vods are tanking my. Uh, I just need to. What I need to do is, like, right after they're uploaded, delete them. Because, yeah. Uh, also, some of these I have copies of as far as the VOD. So that's kind of kind of not smart on my part. But I know why I have copies. You know, because I have had, you know, downloads be corrupt. And then, yep, backup copies. Yep, I'm very... Oh, man, you know, ever since, like... Yeah, like, all this started around right when uh, we had that Eifert ca Cavern glitch. Like ever since then, I've been very paranoid, justifiably so, honestly. And it happened that stuff that's not supposed to happen. You know, as far as like files getting deleted, corrupted, etc. You know, the uh, games just closing by themselves. You know, randomly. It's it's yeah. I don't know. It's part of that streamer luck, guys. Like you know, you already know because I mean, you were there. You guys were right there as I was recording. There in the Eifert Cavern, and, and also that problem with uh, Nightmare Troubadour. Thank God I was able to recover that. But uh, wow. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, cause I just hit a random combination on my keyboard. Next thing I know, chaos. <laughs> well, anyway, let's go here to captures. Um, <laughs> let's pull up. Um, Yeah, should be able to hear uh, Pokemon. Um, oh, this is just a plain YouTube tab. We can close that. Let's do some chat check. Okay. I can do it. Uh, love this. Excuse me. Um, I feel like playing Pokemon almost like 30 minutes here. into the forest and stuff and just kind of basically take a work break. <laughs> uh, so there you go. So this will be like one of the weirdest, you know, Pokemon Platinum vods ever because, you know, most of it will be just chatting and then we'll have some kind of intermittent, uh, oh, I guess I can mute Chrome now. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, yeah, 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 it is what it is, man. I mean, 
this is what I feel like doing today. So, you know. Alright, you know. I guess I'll leave timestamps in the YouTube VOD for you loyal uh, Pokemon Platinum lovers. But, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to choose green chair. So, let's click here. I guess I can change the category and stuff before. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, oh. randomizer. Um, oh, okay. Pokemon Platinum version, and let's uh, get the <laughs> Master Gold tags out of here. Let's just type in Pokemon. updated stream. Let's uh, hit screen cheer. That's usually the best what I do for Pokemon. Go. Alright, there you guys go. And then I will uh, hit gameplay because that's how this works. And there we go. Alright, so again, let's click into the randomizer. All right, last time, what were we doing? Uh, not too much. I mean, the diary will tell us, but yeah, we basically were taking care of some berries, taking care of some berries, and yeah. <laughs> uh, we did catch Snorlax, though, I think, so. Oh, oh, I guess these, I did water these two berries, or plant these two. These are what, orange, so I don't really mind if I lose them. Oh, there's an Aspear. Okay, well, <laughs> that's so much for what I said. I thought I had harvested them all, but uh, Rost, okay. Excuse me, guys. Uh, also, can I tilt this up? Let me check the... Uh... Here. Mm. Did I? Hmm. I don't know. That feels better to me. Does it look like I'm looking more straight on? I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, let's head to... Yeah, down here. And... Uh, I guess let's see what Pokemon I'm raising. That's, uh, all oh, right, all right, all right. Jet Sun. <laughs> yeah, my boy Blastoise. All right. Okay, I'll, uh, let's just uh, head over here. Plant some stuff. I guess I'll remind myself to check Pokemon Platinum here in about, um, so those berries were in the process. So here in about, yeah, three hours. Yeah, we can do a nice little berry check. <laughs> that would be very good. <laughs> That was awful, Flood. That was awful. That was awful. That was awful. Okay, and I'll start ch chat checking every yeah, two or three minutes. So. All right, it's Friday, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, how about that? Um, well, we can see if we run into a shiny seal. Um, yeah, let's see. This thing is level 15, though, so... You know, it may be worth uh, catching, or, and I don't even remember the nature of the seal we caught. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good move. Uh, it's not very effective, though. Alright, Terra Force, you got this. Yeah, let's just chill, relax. Okay, so we're going to stick with Wing Attack and play a little Pokemon. Uh, give me an encore. Do you want more? Why not? Anybody remember that song? Good song. I like that song. Cool. Alright, this should be some nice experience for <laughs> War Greymon, aka Terra Force. It's so cool. I'm so glad I came up with that name. I love it. Terra Force. <laughs> uh, Digimon, man. Digimon. Digital Monsters. Man, what a series. You know, so it's funny. Uh, um, you know, after stream one day, you know, I remember doing like 
one stream where I was talking about Digimon or something about Digimon. You know, I was Digimon, and you know, I was I was in the Digimon. I could tell I was in the Digimon zone, the vibe, the the flow, the uh, you know, I was feeling like a Digi you might say. Yeah. So, like, basically after that stream that day, I uh, you know, cause uh, you know, everybody does different stuff to wind down after stream. You know, usually I'll listen to like some music or I'll, especially some Yu-Gi-Oh music or I'll listen to some copyright music, you know, stuff you can't exactly play on Twitch that I know, you know, that I know you can't play on Twitch. Um, yeah, but like after that stream, I was literally, I was just like, man, I was talking so much about Digimon. I actually like Google, you know, Digimon, you know, in, in YouTube, I was like Digimon episode one. You know, and yeah, I just ended up watching like the first five episodes, and uh, that's, that's, and that that first you know enemy they encounter is just huge. That thing's huge, you know. So uh, <laughs> pretty. Uh, no, I just enjoyed it. I just you know, even as an adult, I'm like you know, this anime is pretty cool, man. So uh, anyway, like I said, let's focus on chat checking, chat checking. Oh, uh, hey Erica, what's up? Um, yeah. Yeah. Happy Friday. Alright. Yeah. Good to have you. Good to have you. Uh, yeah. Well, today we're just kind of... Yeah, we're just kind of... Honestly, I'm doing more of an editing day on my, uh, on my YouTube channel. But I needed a distraction for... Yeah, at least a few minutes. <laughs> We're just here, you know, killing a little time, giving my brain a little break from editing, and playing a little Pokemon. Nothing wrong with that. So, I hope your day is going uh, pretty well here. Uh, I I did, and uh, honestly, I'm still talking to uh, my financier about it. Uh, so, but uh, yeah, um, we definitely do have some stuff freed up. As far as, you know, the all oh, this thing. Okay, alright. I don't know if I'll continue this battle. Ah, uh, recover. Yeah, man. Now, I tell you what, the AI in, the, in Pokemon, they love to use recover, soft oil. Okay, thankfully, we're going to get the KO. Um, but yeah, on a serious note, yeah, Erica, um, I talked to my finance here. Um,. Yeah, and, and you know we do have some some funds available. You know, I just talked to not only my financier, I talked to my YouTube um, investor because I actually long I haven't really told you guys here on YouTube, but I do have an investor who. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, the investor kind of is like one of my best friends, and she promised me. She said, "Hey, man." You keep doing this YouTube stuff and growing because you you realize how we grew like a hundred in the last two months. He said, "Yeah, you do that again, and uh, you know I'm going to invest." I said, "What does that mean?" She said, "You're going to get a nice Christmas bonus." I said, "Oh, I guess so. yeah." So uh, yeah, basically she's uh, she's pretty nice um, family, of course, but you know. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, we've got money set aside. Uh, that's not the issue. The issue is. Uh, you could you see because she was wanting to put the money into man honestly this is a good idea it's something I considered um, doing myself uh, with some money I have from work um, you know for my day job don't quit your day job so I there is this thing you can do right where you basically <laughs> Okay, sure. Um, where you, um, you know, yeah, if you have a YouTube channel, I'm sure you guys know. But there's this thing you can do where, um, yeah, you basically, you know, pay for Google advertising. And honestly, I think that would help my channel quite a bit. Does artwork help? Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, but basically, I'm talking with my financier about... You know, which one do we think is going to help more? Mm, artwork? You know, unique e unique emotes? Uh, 
or the basically yeah we're gonna have to make a choice either we're gonna invest in you yeah th this was the consensus yesterday on the group call it's either we're gonna invest in youtube and we're gonna pay for the google advertising which it does help it, it honestly does it uh basically it makes google recommend your channel more and it does some other stuff that i just can't do on my own so we're either gonna do that and help the youtube or we're gonna invest into the art and it's basically it's an ongoing discussion um i need to talk with her but the, but the funds are available she's willing to so that's not an issue the issue is you know it's her uh, she's the investor so do i have to do what she says no no i don't but i highly want to value her opinion because here's the thing someone's investing in your channel you should probably you know consider doing what they say because <laughs> if you know you do what they say they're likely to invest again so yeah long story short erica um she's she's leading i'm trying to convince her that you know the artwork is a good idea because i mean hey first impressions are everything and people do notice you know like yeah yeah there's not too much artwork on your youtube channel or there's not too much, you know, unique emotes on your Twitch, or people notice these things, you know. In fact, for some people, it's the reason they don't subscribe, or they do subscribe. Because if they see, like, you know, you're not going all in, you know, on your own artwork, on your own channel, some people just will, they'll just be like, yeah, you know, this guy's being lazy, and I'm not going to subscribe for that. And I, and I don't blame you, you know. Look at all these YouTube channels out here that have, you know, professionalism. You know, yeah, you know, so that's kind of what I'm trying to get her to see is like, yeah, the artwork is pretty, we should probably do it, you know, sooner rather than later. Um, but I, you know, she's leaning more toward the Google advertising. And to be honest, that probably will help the channel as well. Uh, the YouTube channel, particularly. Um, and, you know, I'll try to convince her, but I'm not going to push you know, too hard, because number one, it's her money. Number two, I don't want to, you know, scare her off and have her, you know, withdraw altogether. So that would be bad. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, you know, we're just going to discuss it a little more this afternoon. And uh, I'll let you know the final consensus uh, one way or the other uh, Sunday, Sunday, Erica, because this is going to be a nice long weekend. We're going to meet in person, you know, face to face. Uh, so far, we've only discord discussed it over Discord calls. And by that, I mean like short two to three minute calls while she's on break from work. And that's kind of, it's really not the best time to discuss uh, business, business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, we, yeah, we, we've talked about the Twitch graphics and how they're currently trash. <laughs> but um, no, like, uh, yeah, I'm going to meet with her a couple more times this weekend, my investor. And, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. I, uh, I'm going to try to push, though. Like, honestly, Erica, I really am. I'm going to try to push for some of the things we talked about because, well, and even if we don't push for that, heck, I'm going to start saving my own money. Because that's, yeah, you know, just for that. You know, I'm pretty uh, kind of an impulse buyer. And there is some stuff that I usually buy that... Uh, you know, particularly Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like physical Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I could just like, if I stop buying Yu-Gi-Oh cards and decks and uh, games, yeah, I spend a lot of money on like new games. But if I stop buying new games for a month, you know, I could invest that in my channel. Yeah. So that's the plan. You know, if she doesn't. Uh, if the investor doesn't, uh, isn't persuaded by, uh, by me, uh, yeah, then I'm gonna, like, not stream any new games for a month, and, uh, you know, just kind of build up my funds, and, uh, yeah, so, that's the plan, um, wish me luck, and help me to I want you to wish that I find not the right words to say, but the perfect time to say those words. Because, uh, yeah, that's, uh, oh yeah, I definitely should get some panels.
So, uh, yeah. But uh, hey, I think thanks for checking in, Erica, because um, yeah, this is all very important. But uh, yeah, sometimes it's not what you say; it's the precise timing, saying stuff at the exact right moment. That uh, yeah, because I feel like that's all all she needs. She needs me to say, "Yep, I'm certain stuff at the right moment." Um, but anyway, let's uh, head on in here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to talk to good old Cheryl. Um, but, yeah, if you don't hear from me um, by Monday, Erica, yeah, check back in. But I definitely am going to message you on Discord on... I'm thinking Sunday. Usually I don't get home till about 6 p.m. But, uh, yep, I should message you. Yeah, after I eat, six thirty, yeah, around seven or so. <laughs> Double king, man. King king, like checkers. Yeah. But uh, no, I should message you sometime around Sunday. Yeah, we'll say six thirty to seven. If I don't, um, yeah, message me around eight. Just be like, yo, yo, dog, what's up? You know, and I'll, uh, I'll see you then. Because so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working all weekend, so I should be. All right, we're back here with Ekans and her shit. Uh, Cheryl <laughs> almost said we're back here with, yeah, yeah, strike that, reverse it. No, we're back here in the forest with Cheryl and her amazing Ekans, which <laughs> this thing's bite is just so uh, amazing. Now, that is going to affect things, putting my Terra Force to sleep, but that's okay. Um, let's pick you this, and let's click here, and let's click here, and I'll click back in chat. What's going on here? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, oh, yeah, Halloween. Wow, see, it's that kind of thing that I probably need to mention to my investor. So, uh, that's thank you, thank you, Erica. I appreciate that. Well, I'll take a look at that after stream. Well, actually, I'll probably like <laughs> I'll probably send that to her right now. Um, as far as the yeah, because that's uh. You know, she was asking about the numbers, and that's a number, so there you go. Okay, well, I'll send that over to her, and, uh, and, we'll, yeah. and of course, you know, you know like, um, that's another thing, too, and why we're going to meet face-to-face -face, uh, this weekend. And so, you know, she can look at, uh, you know, yeah, some of the artwork you've sent, uh, you know, there in the Discord, there in the, right there on the icon. And that way she can say like, oh, you know, I like this design. I don't like this design or, you know, whatever. So, so, uh, yep, I'll bring her over, uh, plan to today, you know, um, no, yeah, we'll see. this will be sometime around at five, five minutes, so here at about, uh, eight hours. All right, Terra Force, attack that uh, hill across. I forget what type you are about money. Pass <laughs> again. Yeah. Speaking of Halloween. <laughs> so, guys, it is uh, spooky, spooky, spooky month. Uh, okay. Will do, Erica. I will. I'll holla at you. Um... Speaking of Halloween, it is almost that time, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> you guys already, yeah, you guys already have your costumes, or um, <laughs> you know, so it's funny. Um, yeah, my nieces and nephews are here. As I, well, I mean, they're on stream like a lot, like a lot, a lot. So uh, <laughs> it's funny. Um, yeah, <laughs> we were all talking. About, uh, yeah, what we would potentially do, um, you know, just as a family. For a year. And, you know, obviously we're all going to dress up, right? That's pretty, you yeah. um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk with the boys. I'm going to try to convince them, hey, let's all go as, like, characters from Mortal Kombat. Why? It's easy. You know, it's easy. Like, all you have to do is one person blue, one person red, 
one person. <laughs> you know, yellow. It, it's it's so easy. You know, just to go as characters from uh, MK. <laughs> and then like, uh, yeah, like Elizabeth uh, or uh, my sister with her phone, and just uh, you know, as we walk up to random houses, you know, in the neighborhood, you just start playing the Mortal Kombat theme. You know. Yeah, and like the, the the funnest part is I can do some of the voices from uh, Mortal Kombat, so like the uppercut uppercut guy, whoopsie, you know, yeah, <laughs> or <laughs> well, uh, all right, we have Yuxi here, so nice to have the legendary encounter for a change, a change of pace, but uh, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, and I can also do the voice, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because. You know, yeah, at and like when they take damage, they're like, oh, you know. <laughs> I'm talking old school Mortal Kombat, you know. It's just so funny when they take like critical hits, they're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, toasty, you know, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> that would be fun, honestly. And then I could do like random, you know, reptile. Who came? <laughs> nah, I don't know. Well, either way, we're gonna have a good time. You know, it's just Halloween. You know. Hope you guys are, yeah, planning to participate. You know, hey, yeah, just like why not? Go outside of your house. It's a free candy, man. I mean, just go as your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist or monster or whatever. Have fun, with it, man. It's, you know, everyone does it. Uh, well, not everyone. Some people don't like to. Uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, if you're, and I do realize some of my viewers are quite young, yeah, just, you know, try to find a safe group of, you know, four or five people. You know, you know what parts of your neighborhood to trust, you know what parts not to trust, if you don't know uh, as far as your neighborhood goes. Um, yeah, you know, just uh, use your best judgment, yeah, if you don't know which is safe and what's not. Um, yeah, just there with your group of friends. You trust your instincts, man. You know what I mean? That's the key on Halloween. Just trust your instincts. If it don't smell right, if it don't look right, if it don't taste right, it ain't right, partner. Just, you know, skip that house, move on to the next house. You know, it's that easy. So, more legendary encounter music. I'm guessing it's Yuxi again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the legendary Pachirisu. <laughs> Alright, Terra Force is growing nicely here. Look at that, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get some water. Well, that's not until the next generation. See, this thing might rest unless it flinches here. Ooh, clutch, man! Ekans is so good, bro. That glare, that paralysis plus flinch combo. Any, man, Ekans is so good. And the fact that we are trying to catch, you know, Pokemon we don't have in here. Sometimes, how many times does Ekans paralyze something? And then we caught it, you know, with uh, Cheryl here. That is helpful. That is so helpful. Because Cheryl's random Pokemon could have been anything. Think about it. It could have been a Feebass. Could have been, like, I don't know. Oh, Elubise. And just keep, keep spamming Moonlight, you know. Oh, the horror. The horror. But no, we got really, 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 really lucky that, uh, yeah, Ekans has, um, uh, yeah, Cheryl has Ekans because, yeah, the glare, even Acid is, like, really good. Um, yeah, because it hits both people, you know, so, yeah, it's awesome, man. Oh, so, uh, Dutch Noir resists, uh, wing attack, let's get to that. Disable, oh no. I made this joke every time. I really should make that joke, but like, I 
like the, uh, you know, I've fallen and I can't get up joke. That's really rude, though. I shouldn't make jokes like that. Those jokes are, may be offensive. I mean, yeah, there may be a subscriber of mine who, you know, went through a kind of horrific injury. And, uh, yeah, I should respect everyone. What do we got here? Uh, you know, oh, okay, yeah. All right, back to the game here. That's what we're doing. We're gaming. Hi. Okay, we'll, just, we'll, we'll knock out Pachirisu before then. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, Chatot is down. Right. Yeah, Chatot is weak to dark. That's the one thing we figured out. I don't know if it's psychic or... <laughs> what else is dark ghost? But honestly, I don't care. It's Chatot. It's a gimmick Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, Terra Force 17. Oh, Agility. Okay, uh, what moves do we have right now? Forget a move? Uh, I like Roar better. It's a lot more strategic. Um, yeah, we'll give up on, uh, Turround Turround. <laughs> That's what Diego used to call Agility when, uh, he was a lot younger. And, you know, he, he, he couldn't, you know, he's just like Turround Turround. Yeah, because it's like the, uh, the animation for agility. It's literally of a Pokemon spinning around and around and around. You know, on fire right. <laughs> oh, that Diego. Well, he's probably awake by now, but uh, uh, he might want to hang out here in a few minutes, honestly. And if he does, it's fine. You know, I've given my YouTube channel a little bit of attention, and honestly, Forget, did we find a hair cross with a good enough nature? I think we did. I don't remember actually. I should check the next time we uh, head back and uh, heal up. Yeah. I should also make a save here pretty soon. Damn true. Yeah, because remember how I was talking about all the glitches in uh, Final Fantasy VIII? What if my computer just like reboot right now by itself? Or I hit some kind of, you know, I drop my keyboard like I did there at the uh, uh, Pokemon. I mean, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. And, ooh, Nightmare Troubadour! That's what I need to the stream today. Yeah, so uh, we are at a good point. We're, um, yeah, now we're at the evening and nighttime duels. Yeah, and we're still hunting for Imperial Order. That's what I was going to stream today. Okay, uh, glad I... Uh, I don't remember that with my Valentine holding the wing track on the right over here. Well, anyway, yes, I am going to stream some Nightmare Troubadour today, guys. Um, I'll probably do it in a separate, yeah, when I'm ready. You know, because right now we're just kind of chilling, just kind of you know, taking a break from editing. But no, seriously, um, what I'll probably do is um, when I'm ready for Troubadour, I'll, uh, you know, in stream. And then I'll get everything, you know, perfectly ready. And we'll just kind of focus. I'll even close my door. Make sure nobody comes back here, including the kids, Diego, um, everybody. And just, uh, yeah, we'll do like we'll do like an hour. Just a solid hour of Troubadour. Just kind of chat. And, uh, yeah. We'll just play some duels and have a little fun. So, that sounds good. Also, Patrick Arisu must be charming us because... Uh, we're not doing diddly here. Uh, oh, right. Also, it resists. Uh, okay, that should help, Ekans. Thank you. <laughs> I was just kind of mindlessly. Yeah, it's been using Growl. Okay, okay. That makes sense. I was just like, I've kind of been mindlessly pressing the uh, weak attack button and the snore of the weak. You know, using a magnifying glass as an attack. <laughs> so funny. That's how Foresight looks in this game. Like, yeah, let me pull out my magnifying glass with these giant hands. Let me scope scope out your stats. <laughs> uh, 46 attack stat is not bad by Terra Force. Yeah, that growl's getting a little annoying. Let's try to mega flinch this thing. I mean, going to use a bite on it. Well, we can't make it flinch if it's using quick attack. That's five head. Five head Pachirisu. Ooh, crit, crit, crit. Yes. Yes, payback for all those growls there, buddy. All right, but yeah, let's make a quick save. And, uh... 
Ooh, oh, there we go. That feels good. And, um, yeah, after we save here, let me, um, I think actually that'll do. That'll do. That's a nice little break. Back to work. Um, oh, I should make a little safety, uh, I do this all the time. Yep, 30th, right here. No, 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 right here on the 6th, yeah. So, 6, hey, uh, Tim, 6 is the safety state. 6 is the safety state, brother. Uh, and then we'll go here, and I'll go back to chatting. Okay, there we go. All right, and then I will close this, and then I'll close this. All right, back to work, guys. All right, YouTube channel. Here we go. Oh, my. That's why. There you go. Huh. See something in the reflection of the. Oh, it's the. <laughs> I thought. Okay. Wow, I, uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, let me check some email, because that's pretty, like I told you guys, I check my email pretty, uh, hmm, okay, yeah, I check my Yahoo pretty, pretty often, hmm, sorry guys, I'm a bit of a boomer, so, hey, you guys remember Yahoo Domino's chat lobbies, remember that? Good times, good times. All right, I can delete those. Oh, you know, I've, hmm, we could do that today too. I just got an email from chess.com. Yeah, so recently we've started the uh, rating evaluation series, and that's quite an interesting one, you know. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what my final rating is. The first chess stream, though, honestly. Went pretty good. Yeah, I had some fun. Um yeah, we just got to <laughs> got to learn a lot, try a lot. Um yeah. So pretty fun stream, honestly. Um I might start a chess evaluation stream here at about yeah, you know, I think one o'clock. I should be caught up on my uh, YouTube stuff. So and even if we don't find a forbidden memories today, um, the fact that the, the you know me deleting the files and I, honestly that does help quite a bit. So, um, so I got a message here. Hmm, okay. Email's loading a little slow right now. That's okay, though. We'll just... Um, actually, I'm gonna go hit the head real quick, and I'll be right back.
All right. Nice. <laughs> All right. Oh, I am in back and just chatting, right? I should probably. That's cool. Um, let's go here. Do oh, I can delete all of these. Sorry, just checking some email. Got a bunch of basically spam from YouTube. Well, not spam, but um, basically um, my email is linked. You know, of course, to my YouTube channel. And, you know, basically every time I get a comment, um, yeah, it is sent. That's why I check my Yahoo mail so, um, uh, so often is because, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, basically every time I get a comment or a like or, um, uh, whatever, um, <laughs> uh, YouTube will send me an email. They'll say like, oh, you know, um, Yu-Gi-Oh fan. 157 subscribe to you or they'll be like Yu-Gi-Oh uh fan 296800 uh liked this video or comment left a comment so that's the majority of the emails i get my left eye is like itchy today it's like the second time i've yeah. time did i wake up no i woke up like 3 hours ago so all right, definitely not tired. Excuse me. Let's uh, click here. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. <laughs> nice. Domino's has fifty percent off. I may order that some of that today, honestly. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. I mean, some of these emails I could read them, but some of them are literally just like spam. Like, oh, sign up for this credit card or this or that, you know. Um, yeah. So I can we can monitor your credit report. I'm sure you you guys get emails like that all the time too. It's just like, uh, uh let me get right on that. And I don't want to name, like, the name of the credit card companies, you know, because I don't want to. I don't even want to give them promotion on my stream, bro. But you guys can imagine. I mean, probably the same emails, you know, I'm getting that are like, oh, sign up for our credit card. You know, we've got a special introductory offer, blah, blah, blah. You know, probably the, you guys are getting the same, you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are getting the same one. You know, that's a uh, thing. Oh, that actually looks important. Um, ooh, there's actually a 50% off offer at the place I usually go to get my glasses. So they have a 50% offer on frames right now. And so for those of you who don't buy glasses, or who, who, you know, have perfect sight. I mean, you just don't know. For those of you who have perfect sight, um, let me just tell you something. Uh, first, let me check on chat here real quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For those of you who don't have perfect sight, or who do have perfect sight, these glasses, how much do you think these glasses cost? Yeah, they cost uh, $450 after tax. Yeah, because, like, you may have seen, like, especially when I stream late at night. In fact, like, can you see right now? Yes, you can, actually. See how, like, there's a little slight purple? Like, let me let me move my head like I just did. Yeah, you see how there's, like, a slight kind of purple little... There's almost like a purple tint, like, right here in front. So these glasses have, like, anti-reflective um, lenses. And it's something like extra you can pay for. Basically, what it helps with is both reflecting sunlight and bright lights at night. Because, you know, people have their brights on. 
And like, yeah, like when I walk at night, you know, and I, I, I take night walks. I've been taking night walks pretty often here lately. And it's kind of good, you know, I'm trying to take better care of myself. I mean, obviously, <laughs> obviously I've got a lot to work on, you know, so yeah, but I've just kind of been, you know, playing basketball with the nephews, doing this and that. And actually, um, yeah, last night I actually went jogging and that's, uh, that's, I, that's the first time I went jogging, like, and I didn't jog. I mean, come on guys. I didn't jog for like an hour, which is recommended, you know, every day. I didn't. No, no, because like I knew I was just like, man, <laughs> this is going to hurt today. And like today it does. It hurts. It feels like, wow. You know what I mean? Like, oh, my gummy Kai, you know, <laughs> my legs are just I remember waking up this morning. First thing this morning, I was like, Jello, J-E-L-L. -L. Like, I almost feel like I couldn't rise up. And well, anyway. The glasses talk, but uh, I am. I take better care of myself, guys, because, um, yeah, I want to stream for you guys a long time, and I want to be here with you guys and talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! And, and not to mention I've got other people I want to be here for, and the best way to be here is to take care of uh, the body. The body I have, I'm living in right now, the body I'm talking to you with. The, uh, yeah, and that's a complete process, uh, so I did I lose some weight? Yeah, sure. You know, even if I just lose five pounds, I feel like I would feel a lot, you know, a lot better. And I and not not don't even lose like my my uh my goal as far as my my weight loss journey. Fun fact: I don't actually want to lose any weight. What I want to do is convert because I'm at like yeah, I'm pretty sure when I weighed in at the doctor. They said I was at 270. I'm like, okay. You know, I am a, I am 6'2", six, six so that's not bad. What I want to do is convert the 270 I have and basically convert this to, yeah, you just convert stuff to, start converting stuff to muscle. And it's really not, I don't want to lose weight. I want to convert weight. And also, I want to stop gaining weight. That's the key is like, Okay, I don't want to get above 275 unless there is a caveat. Unless, like, my muscles are out to here, you know. <laughs> like, if my muscles are out to here, you know, and I have, like, a, yeah, I have, like, a 14-pack. Okay, I can be over 275. <laughs> but, no, I, I, it's weird, you know, because I don't feel like, oh, man, I want to lose 50 pounds. No, that's, no. I mean, I could go for that, but I don't. No, the key for me is I want to maintain my weight. So, you know, because my weight's steadily been going up, you know, not 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 like a lot, a lot, but, you know, a pound here, two pounds that month, three pounds that month, you know, and it's not muscle. It's definitely not, you know, because I've been just kind of, you know, just kind of chilling. But what I want to do for my weight loss, you know, journey is, uh, yeah, just you basically not only do you convert weight, you maintain weight. And what I mean by that is, yeah, like I said, I don't go over 275. You know, I just be more active. And that's honestly pretty healthy. Um, yeah, you just, I get out here, you know, with these boys, with the, the nephews and, you know, just spend about like an hour a day outside and in real grass. I know it's <laughs> revolutionary, I know, but, uh, that's the plan, you know, it's, um, and I jog, I'm thinking three times a month. That's a good start because I already took care of one, you know, last night. So that's, yeah. and then, yeah, here in about 10 days. So around the 16th, we jog and then the 26th, we jog and we're done. So that's the plan. Yeah. You know, if I really, 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 really wanted to lose like 20 pounds, I'd be out here doing cardio, bro. <laughs> like, I'd be out here doing cardio every night. Because it's starting to get dark early. Like, so around, yeah, last night it started getting dark at like 7.15. I'd be doing cardio from 7.30 to, and by cardio, I literally mean you pick a destination, you run to it. That's cardio. 
you know, I would literally go out here outside and just say, hey, okay, I'm going to jog over there. I'm going to jog to that Kroger's. I'm going to jog to that Target, you know, the Target grocery store. I'm going to jog over here. Not only am I going to jog to Target, which is literally like five minutes from my house, but I'm going to jog to Target. I'm going to jog back, drink some water, use the bathroom. I'm going to jog to Target again. I'm going to jog back. Yeah, because it's it's a safe zone. Like there's plenty of lighting and there's plenty of, you know, so nothing to worry about. Yeah, I would literally jog back and forth to Target like 15 times. You know, and then just, yeah, yeah. Every time I stop at my house, drink some water, you know, make sure I'm okay. You know, breathe, calm down, stretch the muscles. Done, you know, so. And I would literally do that, that program, you know, 15 times a day until I lost 50 pounds. You know, it may take a year. I'm I'm a lot older now. You know, I just had my birthday. It may take three years, you know, whatever. But if you're healthy, you know, and then it's like, do I eat right? No. <laughs> you know, I definitely enjoy my eating. I enjoy it quite a bit and I'm going to continue to enjoy it. You know, it's just what I'm going to do. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, I eat good. And by good, I mean, it's greasy. It's good and greasy. And I'm going to enjoy it. So, yep. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's just my, you know. Anyway, glasses. <laughs> so we've capped that discussion. Uh, let me, let me uh, cap that for Tim. Uh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. But honestly, yeah, the last two months have been pretty good. I've been a lot more active. I've been, uh, yeah, ever since July 4th, basically ever since I started back YouTubing, I've kind of been going outside more. and Yeah, just kind of, you know, getting out there more, going to church more, doing this more, talking with friends more, being like more active in person is what I've been doing. And eh, does it help? I don't know. It helps me. Uh, I feel pretty good. I, I don't know. But anyway. Um, yeah, uh, as far as now the glasses go. So yeah, yeah, like I said, $450. So, but the frames, the frames alone, the black part right here, the frames, the frames alone were at $250. So pretty high. And then, um, the actual glass right here, uh, that, you know, for default, they were like, eh, 75. I'm just like, wow. And they're like, yeah, for an extra... Da, da, da. Would you like the anti-reflective? And then, and then my mom was like, "What's that? Do I really need to pay for that?" They're like, "Well, does your son game a lot? Does your do, Josh do you you know spend a lot of time in front of the computer?" I'm like, "Hmm. Do you watch a lot of TV?" I was like, "Hmm. You know, kind yeah. You know, I do." And then I started talking to the doctor. I was like, I do kind of run this YouTube channel. And da, 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 da. They're like, oh, okay. Well, the reason we ask is because, you know, some people have computer jobs. You know, then they have to sit in front of a computer. And, you know, you get the backlight from the computer. And, you know, you want to take care of your eyes. Long-term health. You know, we're just offering the reflection. And I'm like, yeah, sure. I'll I'll pony up the extra for that, <laughs> you know, because uh, yeah, you know, and yeah, total four after tax. I think it was four fifty seven and twenty five. No, it was twenty nine cents. Four fifty seven twenty nine. Most expensive pair of glasses I've ever bought. You know, and in fact, I thought, you know, I always thought to myself, if I pay that much for my glasses. They're going to be those those uh, transitions, you know. Yeah, yeah, the kind that like when the sun comes in, they they fade to black. And uh, I did ask how much those were. She was like, after tax, eh, one thousand. And I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was like, four digit number, one thousand, four digit. I was like, y you you can stop. I mean, don't get me wrong. Those transition glasses are cool as fuck. Like those are that is like, you know, once I'm doing really really good and like. I've got my car fixed. I've got this. I'm like ahead on my car payments. I'm ahead, you know, on my mortgage. I'm ahead. Like I've got the 
electric bill. I'm doing so good monetarily that like I've got my electric bill paid like three months ahead. I've got the water bill paid because you can do that. You can pay your bills ahead. I've got rent paid, you know, three months ahead. That is something I'd like to save for is just like you get the transitions, the glasses, the glasses, you get the transitions and man, that would be, that would be an amazing goal to save for, you know, just personally, just to say, just to say, Hey, I bought that. I saved for that. I bought that. I'm wearing it. Look, 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 look what I saved for. I'm wearing it. And then you just step outside and they start to fade to black. Like, dude, that is just, that is badass. I'm sorry. It, I've always thought like those glasses are badass. They're cool as fuck. Like everybody who wears glasses, I imagine would want those kind, you know, eventually. Um, now I'd be very, very careful with that pair. If I ever bought transition glasses, here's four things I would never do. I would never swim with those. I would never play basketball. I would never play, you know, any sport. I would also never go. There are certain areas where I have confrontations. You know, and even though they're just verbal for now, I would never wear those glasses there because, you know, Anyway, and finally, number four, I would never wear them at night because you don't need to wear them at night. It's already dark. So I'd wear these because they have the anti-reflection. I, I drive so good with these at night. It's not even funny. I don't even see like see the glare. That's how good the reflecting reflection is, the anti-reflective. Yeah, I don't even see the glare. I don't even... like. You know how sometimes at night you'll start to drift toward the light? I don't even know. I, I literally just, boom, keep going. I can see everything, like, really clearly. So, whoever recommended these to me, thank you. Um, You're my doctor. You're subscribed to me, aren't you? Are you my doctor? Have you used your Twitch Prime on me? You should... <laughs> you should follow... Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Doc, as well as use that Twitch Prime. I know you've got Twitch Prime. Why? You're a doctor and you're wealthy. You might be an oiler, you might say. And I appreciate you getting all that hard work for your MD. But now, I need you, Doc. Yeah. What's up, Doc? I need you to. <laughs> Tim is. <laughs> I've got Tim here in Discord, and he's just like, oh my, what are you? <laughs> Tim is palm facing so hard. <laughs> no, hey, but uh, Tim, hey, bro, hey, clip that one, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Doc. Hey, how'd you like the B Bugs Bunny, though, Tim? Uh, what's funny is, like, I also do a pretty good Elmer Fudd, but it's just like, when are you ever going to need that impersonation? He's like, uh, 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 let me do the laugh. Uh, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. Uh, 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 yeah. Like, Tim, when am I ever going to need to do that laugh? You know, never, Ray. Uh, I saw a wabbit pass right by here. You know, yeah. <laughs> uh, get old Looney Tunes. Get old Looney Tunes. Fuck season. Wabbit season. Fuck season, you know. <laughs> there you go, Tim. There you go. There, there's some clips for you. <laughs> Fuck season, wabbit season. <laughs> oh god. Anyway, <laughs> I'll clip this one myself here, Tim. There you go. I'll just I'll just do I'll just title it uh <laughs> Blood in no Elmer Fudd impersonation. <laughs> Elmer. Oh with two D's, right, Tim? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> oh, put it on YouTube? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll I'll go ahead and do that right now. That's <laughs> Oh, right. And then since I'm putting it on YouTube, just say, hey, we're streaming right now. 
Okay, Tim. That's honestly a good idea. Yeah, look at me. Uh, <laughs> let me uh, tweet this out. <laughs> and let me put this on my Facebook, too. That's That was a pretty good, clean one, honestly. And then, uh, yeah, download it. Put it on YouTube. Like, I, got, I got you, Tim. I got you. Yeah, we can do that right now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That's random. Yeah, like when am I ever gonna need that impersonation? You know. <laughs> uh, who was my favorite Looney Tunes character? Ooh, that's a. Uh, mm, I feel like I could discuss this for about an hour, Tim. Uh, mm. Actually, I tell you what, Tim, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you on that. I uh, appreciate you asking that in Discord, though, but I will le legit get back to you because that is a good discussion question, like a really good discussion question. Um, <laughs> yeah, leave a YouTube comment below. <laughs> as far as your favorite, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to me. Let mine four teeth. Yeah, there you go, Tim. There you go. Oh, don't do the eye roll? Okay, okay, okay. Cut. All right. Do you like Looney Tunes? Be sure to like, comment, favorite all my videos. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. I, I can't. <laughs> Follow this link here. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> there you go. Click that link. <laughs> go. Be sure to subscribe for more, more uh, you know, old school jokes like these. We're having a good day though. Today's Friday. It's a good day. It's a good day. Good day to edit, man. Good day. All right. <laughs> All right. There we go. Um, I only got three messages. Hmm. All right. Do 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 do. Sorry, guys. I am literally just do do doing while I. Uh. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, I'm not only do do doing. I'm literally checking here on uh, Discord. Um, so uh, I participate in several streams. I'm just kind of. <laughs> Some of this stuff is just funny. Okay. I'm literally just. Uh, yeah. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just do 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 doing, kind of replying to some like inside jokes. Yeah, that 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 that's like the cleanest way I can explain what the flippity flame I was just doing. Like literally, I'm responding to inside jokes and yeah. 
Pardon me. Yeah. Um, by the way, it is close to lunchtime. In fact, it's slightly past lunchtime. So. <laughs> um, I'm going to upload that little clip I just made of uh, Elmer Fudd. <laughs> uh, there we go. Mm hmm. Do 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 sorry. Okay. Someone literally commented over here, like, have a great weekend. I was like, oh, yeah. I, I you know, hear my email. I was like, hey, you too. Have a great weekend. Uh, good to see you recently in uh, the stream. And uh, I mean, on uh, YouTube. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me switch to <clears throat> this account. Okay. Yeah, and I just need to put this. Oh, that was verified last month. Okay. Yeah, here we go. All right. A lot of Facebook uh, emails over here. Yeah, Facebook comment. Yeah, yeah, this is the one I have a link to my Facebooks. Let me. Huh. Sorry, what? Oh, come on, sir. I got this email win. This this content isn't available. Huh. Oh, yeah, I got that literally uh, five days ago. Oh, my God. oh, they must have closed the Facebook group. Yeah, okay. That that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, because whenever it does that... Uh... Okay. Okay. Hmm. Or it's one of those... You, you guys ever get trolled by, like, a... Uh... One of those spam groups that just kind of add a bunch of random people. That does happen quite a bit. Okay. So that's, I think that's what that was. Yeah, just like, you know, you get one of those troll There you go. Sent an important email. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm pretty sure I told you, get, well, you know, and I know not everybody watches every video of everything on this channel. And, you know, one of my pet peeves is repeating myself, but I actually don't mind repeating myself when it comes to this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I will be out of town this weekend. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, I'm going to be out of town and 
yeah, that's gonna, yep, yeah, I'm gonna be out of town. Um, therefore, <laughs> and no, I'm not taking my laptop with me. Um, but I will not be streaming. I will not be, I will be posting a, uh, and Tim's gonna monitor, I will be posting a dueling marathon for Saturday, because we've been doing the Saturday dueling marathon, so it's been going pretty well. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, out of town, dueling marathon, as usual, but I won't be present there in chat, you know what I mean? Because you, you guys know how I do the premieres. And, you know, nor lately on the dueling marathons, yeah, yeah, there have been quite a people just chatting it up, you know. They're, and, and honestly, if you only get one or two people at your premieres, that's honestly a good sign. Uh, the interaction has been very, very good. And honestly, I wish I could be there t this weekend, but I, yeah, yeah, literally first thing Saturday, we're going to load up and we're going to start driving. Um, Where will I be going? Yeah, there's just just conference for church and um yeah i'll just tell you guys it's in uh it's in north little rock so we're going to be traveling across you know five states and uh, from wisconsin and yeah we're going to be going there and uh doing some basically hoping to meet people um yeah just welcome people worship and yeah it's going to be a good time so if you guys are there hey you know <laughs> i'll sign some autographs <laughs> No, but if you're in the Little Rock area and you follow me, Budmon14, and hey, feel free to come up and say, hey, man, watch your YouTube stuff, like Yu-Gi-Oh, seeing you around, you know. I'm also pretty well known in that area because I used to, uh, yeah, attend some tournaments and stuff, some Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments and regionals, and I'm pretty well known in that area. So not like a local legend or nothing, but, you know, yeah, feel free to just come up and say, hey, you know. We, uh, <laughs> but, uh, anyway, yeah, oh, I guess here in chat. Oh, uh, what do you mean, spam groups? Spam groups, what? I'm not sure what I guess talking about. Anyway, downloaded Raid Shadow Legend today. Uh, nice. You know, I should probably download Raid Shadow Legends. Uh. <laughs> 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 nice. Yes, get fifteen percent or more saved when you switch to tier elements, because they make you shed actual tears whenever you face them, because their turns take that long. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> um. So anyway, let's uh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So what I was saying. Yeah. No dueling marathon today. Oh, I don't know. I mean, there will be be a dueling marathon uh, tomorrow, Saturday. It's just I won't be there in chat. You know. So. Um. Yeah. But uh, you know, Tim's gonna moderate over there on YouTube. No worries. So. Yeah. You guys be good. Um. Yeah. If you guys want to show up, I appreciate it. Um. As usual, so and if you watch it later, hey, I appreciate that too. That's good. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. Um, no stream Saturday, dueling marathon as usual. I just won't be present in chat. So, yep. Uh, next editing item for YouTube. Well, no way, no, no, no. I was gonna take a lunch break, wasn't I? Uh. <laughs> Well, you know, before I do that, I could queue up. Let's not be lazy, Josh. We've got five Ds good and ready to go. So all I've got to do is go over here to the playlist of Decade Duels Plus, as it's literally, and it starts with bonus, right? I should really take off the bonus tag at this point. 
yeah, we've been getting back into 5Ds, and honestly, this series is going a lot better than I expected, let me tell you that. Literally, I found the VODs in the archive, and I was just like, you know what? Why not post these, man? I, <laughs> but no, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, these views are quite surprising. 119, 37, 45, 40. I mean, I didn't think they'd get any 55 on the last Naturia one, so... Yeah, hey, what do I know? You guys like what you like and don't like what you don't like. So I appreciate all the support. Um, yeah, because for any 5Ds video of mine to get 100 views, that's uh, that's crazy, man. Um, anyway, it looks like the next video, let me cue this one up. You may hear some music in the background while I work on this. Looks like the next video, I need to check the encode number. Yeah, and the likes on these are pretty good as well. Like four likes here, five likes there. Yeah. Five Ds is uh quickly becoming like one of my best Yu-Gi-Oh series, which hey, that's you know <laughs> if I become known for this game, that's not a bad thing. And what's funny is I don't even commentate during the uh <laughs> yeah, it's just straight gameplay, so Maybe that's the key. I, I don't know. We're going to keep posting them, though. Obviously, you guys like them, so, you know, it's not rocket science. People are liking them. Keep posting them, bro. Uh, anyway, let's see here. So we're on encode 87. Okay. We go over here, and I need to copy this. Yeah, because this does not have the tags. Also, I need to figure out who I'm dueling and what kind of... Yeah, yeah, because see, this has default. So we'll select all. Uh, <laughs> select all. Select all. Excuse me. And I'll, I'll have this posted around three for you guys. Uh, let's come up with the title. Right, I can copy the title. So this will be part 35. Will be posted today and i'm gonna post it for and eh, like here in a little bit honestly here for 3 30 and it should be good so let's go part 35 change the four to a five whoops oh i need to turn on my my number lock there we go and let's see who i'm dueling and why uh, let's mute this let's go to this one Oh, wait, wait, who did that say? And right, let's go back. So, okay. Play. Uh, Yumi. Okay, so, yeah, I could just title it that. Flood versus Yumi. Versus. <laughs> you guys remember Yumi Niki? Uh, it's called Yume Niki, I think it's called. Pretty good uh, RPG horror game. Speaking of horror games, yeah, I was talking about Halloween, so we have recently started a Pokemon Nightmare Invasion. Yeah, you guys have been, uh, it's pretty interesting seeing the reaction to that, but, uh, yeah, well, we're going to continue playing it, that's all I have to say. A couple face downs from you, me. Like we've got Cyber Valley first turn. Um, not much else, so I guess we'll see what kind of deck she's playing. Let me just move the lighter ahead here, see what kind of deck she's playing. That way I can kind of describe, wait, she's just Cyber Dragon. That really doesn't tell me anything. Uh, is, what is this monster? There's Mind Control. Wow. That pretty darn good card. Yeah, takes our Mad Dog. Darkness. So she has Cyber Dragon. Zero gravity for the block. What is this card? Monster. Orasha. Heavy Storm. <laughs> yeah, she had TT. Those. Oh, she has Crush Card Virus. Holy smokes, that's a good card. All right. Uh, looks like I'm summoning Beast of Tower here. Okay, and I'm gonna attack Howard Tuner. She just run like a straight dragon deck. Howard Tuner. Hmm. 
Creature swap, that's pretty bad, yeah. Alright. She's using a lot of control uh, change cards. Ogeki no Mugeki ha. No face downs. Best tornado. Oh, okay. That may come in clutch. Daemon no Shokan. Tributing Cyber Dragon. I haven't even seen her real strategy yet. <laughs> her strategy seems to be stealing our monsters, which. Well, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Nothing. She bricked. Okay. Advance the state here. Oh, she eventually plays Gores, too. Wow. Yeah, that is, uh, I guess that's how I'll describe this a deck of hers. The, uh, um, it's us versus Yumi. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put it's us versus Yumi, and her, um, I'm just going to describe this as a mind control deck. Mind control deck. Um, and I'm literally going to put here in the description, yeah. I don't know what her strategy is. Her strategy actually is. But, Emma, but we saw mind control twice. Mind control twice. As well as crush card virus. Um. Creature Swap, and Gores. So, overall, I think her strategy is honestly Creature Swap, and then use your stuff as material for a Synchro Summon. So that's what I'm going to type. So overall, it seems the goal, the, over, the goal of her deck is to steal your stuff, is to steal your stuff then happen to have a tuner in hand in hand and finally um sync synchro summon using the very cards in her opponents deck. Yeah, because that does seem like the main strategy she was going for. And other than that, just to use good, good deck.exe, which isn't a bad strategy, honestly. So, there we go. Well, let's remove this description, because my description's too long here. We've got the links in. That's good. Okay, I can change the int screen. Uh, yeah, let's see. I guess I could say um, uh, Control deck. That is basically what she's running here. Uh, Yumi. <laughs> she's basically running a pure control deck. So. There we go. So let's put. Um, yeah. <laughs> control deck versus. There we go. Because that's basically. Now let's see if I do anyone else this episode that's interesting. But her, she definitely had an interesting strategy here. Up at Magic of Dark Ruler, that's an interesting. Two up the fighter here. I don't think I go too far in the tournament. Oh, we face Ellie again. Okay, and she runs the burn deck. I remember. Yeah. So okay, okay. So I'll put later on. Later on. Later on, face off against Ellie again, Ellie and again, and her wave motion burn deck. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, some of these opponents I'm actually starting to remember, which is pretty funny. Uh, and then Nelly has the uh, banish deck. Yeah. Uh, so there's Nelly. I imagine this duel takes a while, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Yeah. And finally. <laughs> Let's see. Finally. Duel against Nelly in the tournament. 
and her soul absorb life point gain vanish deck. All right, and then I'll just put thanks for watching. All right, so there we go. All right, so that episode is queued up. Let me go save here and make sure we got the number right. Make sure I spelled everything right. Soul deck. Okay, and that's the title there. Um, Schedule this for the 6th, which is today, 3.30 Eastern Standard Time, of course, because we live in Wisconsin. <laughs> there we go. Let me check on Twitch chat here real quick. 2.30, that is Premiere. Uh, oh, I could change the thumbnail. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, good job, Josh. Let's change the thumbnail to something a little more appropriate. Yeah, there we go. And go and go all right also check the tags yeah that's all we looks good honestly um i could put like control in here okay and we'll remove this phrase right here all right and then uh yeah on the gaming i don't pick anything because it uh, this game's actually not even recognized. Maybe that's why the series has had so many views, is because when I try to pull pull it up in the gaming category, yeah, YouTube doesn't even recognize that it's an actual game. So kind of weird, but you know, it is what it is, man. Um, let's. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take a lunch break here. Let me actually rewind this, and yeah, sneak preview for you guys here on Twitch. I'm going to. Um, yeah, we're, I'm just gonna put this here in the corner. I'm gonna put, let's go to s capture. I'm going to go to my Chrome here, where the episode's playing right now. Yep, should be this one right here. Well, congratulations, guys. You get a sneak preview of what's gonna premiere here, so... There we go, and yeah, okay, so here you go. Sneak free. Uh, on Twitch. Yeah, so, you know, if you guys are wondering, like, yeah, that's probably why you should follow my Twitch, if for no other reason. You guys here on YouTube watching the VOD, you know, and I appreciate you guys. But yeah, sometimes I will do, you know, sneak previews. Basically, I premiere, you know, yeah, YouTube, you know, episodes and stuff and games and potential ideas. I'll premiere them early, a lot earlier. And like you Twitch, you Twitch viewers may notice who also subscribe to my YouTube is like, yeah, you know, we're doing stuff here live. And sometimes the VODs won't come out until months later, weeks later, days later. So, yep, if you want the good stuff, it's actually right here on Twitch. So, yeah, come on over to Twitch and. And just drop me a follow. Yeah, just just try it out. Just try it out. Check it out. Hit follow, and yeah, you might get sneak preview stuff like right now, two hours early, a day early, three months early. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, there you go. Really. There we go. And while this plays for, how long is this video? 30 minutes. I'm going to go get some food and be right back. By the way, can you guys hear what's going on? Let's see. Let me see if you can hear. Um, okay, let me make sure I don't have it muted here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have Chrome muted. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Okay. Okay, sorry. Now you should be able to hear. Let me, 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 let
so you guys can hear all the musical glory and the gameplay. So, sorry. Thankfully, I did notice.
Don't get me wrong. I love wieldy versus. I really. But, uh. You look at some of the marketing numbers for, you know, sales. Look at the sales number. Ooh. No bueno. <laughs> I'm like, also, compare it to the amount of money. Everybody remembers, like for a while, you know, good. Besides these games, that self will was a reverse of Arcadia. And we talk about a good game. That's a dual transfer with some potions, but a card. Hey, where you can scan cards IRL and convert them into the game. Okay, that would have been revolutionary to that. Um, the they, uh, right. Okay, you know, that is, uh, if, well, let me put it to you this way, I guess. If they had, you know, successfully made that technology, and, you know, sold it, you know, as a bonus, for like 20 bucks. Nintendo would go bankrupt, chat. Oh man. I mean, this wasn't too long ago, man. This wasn't 
wasn't too long ago, people were like, the Wii and the Wii U flop. Nintendo is dead. You know. Yeah, it's, um... Oh, man, what were they thinking? Uh, what was Nintendo thinking? Oh, man, the Wii. The Wii. Oh, man. You poor Wii players. I actually like the Wii and the Wii U, but, uh... You know, I'm clearly in the minority because the world... That might be Nintendo's biggest flop of all time. Not only the Wii, but the Wii U. And every game, every single game, port, and everything they tried for it, they tried for it. But they just couldn't compete with uh, Xbox and Sony and PlayStation, man, because... Wow. It's crazy, though. I mean, because, you know, a lot of people like Nintendo. Nintendo clearly, you see, here's how you know Nintendo recognized their mistake with the Wii and the Wii U. They went straight back to handheld. I mean, the Switch, yeah, it's, it's straight up handheld. If you want to keep it handheld, you can keep it handheld. Sure, if you want to connect it to your TV, you can connect it to your But Nintendo really recognized their mistake. We're just like, okay, we're going to stay in our lane. I love the Switch. Nothing wrong, wrong with that. Yeah, the Wii really flopped. I mean, that sucker flopped harder than a magic clock on a Friday. That, uh, just couldn't get back in the ocean, man. And, uh, it's a shame, you know, Nintendo was actually in a dark age. Like a really, like, it was almost concerning for a while there. Um, don't get me wrong, I like Nintendo. I mean, there's lots of Yu-Gi-Oh games on it, you know. Lots of Pokemon. There's lots of, you know, good stuff. Zelda, you know. There's lots of just exclusive stuff. But even Zelda on the Wii. Like, there, there, there was just some dark times, bro. Dark times for Nintendo. As far as the Wii, the Wii U, the sales, the money. The, yeah. Good stuff, you know. Abominable failure of the Wii and the Wii U. But you know, every once in a while, I like to remind you, and, uh, you know, that, uh, <laughs> what were you guys thinking, man? Yeah, let's switch from handheld to, uh, no, I get it, I get it. You know, the Xbox Connect was around, the uh, PlayStation equivalent was around. I get it, I get it. You want to switch to, like, a, a Nintendo Connect. You're already in a good spot. People love the games. People like the 3DS. People like the... Oh yeah, you already had the 3DS. And the 3DS was doing well. And then you made like... The remakes from the 3DS. And honestly, those were doing pretty well. You didn't need to, uh... Throw money away. Because that's literally what they did. With the Wii and the Wii U. Like, they got all the money they put into it. All
guys think? <laughs> I've never went to like a GameStop, wanted to buy a Wii U, and they just said, oh, fresh out of those Wii U's, man. We've got none available. We're selling them so good, you're going to have to wait, you know, four weeks for us to get some more. That has never happened. No game like every Wii and Wii U game I've bought, they've always said, oh yeah, we've got like 20 of them. talk at one point you know rumors and obviously if there's rumors and this and that and the talk is serious at one point before the wii u and or the wii there was talk because you know think about this playstation playstation 2 you know playstation slam 
PlayStation 1.5. Okay, you upgrade the console. Stick with me here, chat. Xbox. It's the 360. You know, the big fat. Oh, now we have the Xbox 360 backwards compatible. Okay, okay. I think you guys are seeing where I'm going. You know, Sega. Sega Dreamcast. You know, <laughs> assuming the Dreamcast had a lot of money, you make a Sega Dreamcast too, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, stick with me. I heard rumors and talks and discussions and boards. You know, at the time, at the time the Wii came out. Uh, not the Wii. We don't really care about the Kinect and all that and the... Yeah, we see where the market's going. We're going to stick to what we... I get it, we. No. And we're going to make... No lie, chat. This was in the... the for, if you looked in forums, if you were on chat boards, if you were anywhere in the gaming community at the time. <clears throat> You heard rumors about this, and I'm going to type it in chat to heighten the suspense. Okay. I just typed it in chat. Yeah. Right. GameCube 2, you know, PlayStation 2. Now, they don't necessarily, the name doesn't matter. We're talking about the concept. You know, this was discussed. This was a rumor. This was a big rumor. What's funny is I've got not only rumors. My best friend, he graduated and, you know, at the same time as me, and, you know, around the time of the creation of the Wii, this guy got his master's. He eventually went to MIT, and he basically got his master's in, you know, gaming technology. He works for higher people. I'm not going to say where he works because, anyway, doxing. Um, but let's just say. Not only does he work, he's a manager, like a legit game manager. That's his title. He's had that title since 2007, and he worked hard for it. Um, yeah, so he showed me some emails, and, <laughs> you know, he showed me one or two things that uh, basically confirm that the GameCube 2, you know, or whatever they want to call it, that's the direction 70% of the people wanted to go. And it makes sense. You know, PlayStation 2, okay. PlayStation, Xbox 360, you know. It makes sense, you know. Um, yeah, GameCube has a big fan base. Let's just kind of, you know, update the GameCube and make it backwards compatible. Give it better graphics and this and that and yabba dabba do and we just collect and we make a bunch of Pokemon games for it. We make a bunch of Mario games for it. We make a Zelda game for it. Only one. Only one good one. And then we just head to the bank. Easy. So here's the problem. Xbox Connect and rumors about, you know, yeah, yeah, about, you know, handheld control and, you know, well, we all know how the Xbox Connect works. There was talk in the gaming industry at that time, like, oh man, if you don't have the ability to move along with your character, you're going to lose money. Let me ask something, chat. Is PlayStation dead? <laughs> PlayStation losing money? Ooh. <laughs> now, sure, PlayStation has like those attachments and yabba dabba do where you can, you know, connect, where you can do connect gaming. But it's not something PlayStation's, you know, iconically known for, you know. So they're iconically known for, you know, stuff like this. That's what they're known for. Do you need, you know, motion capture gameplay in this game? 
No. All you need is a good story. And I guess good graphics. And the controller's pretty functional. I'd say it's highly functional. Okay, so here's Nintendo's... <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess. So here's Nintendo's problem. They drank the Kool-Aid. <laughs> they should have just made GameCube 2 or whatever. Just make Game Station 2. I mean, you can call it whatever you want. But, I mean, if they had just made GameCube 2 and, like, good stories, and like I said, do a good story Mario, do a good story Pokemon. Matter of fact, make five Pokemon games for it and just, yeah, make it hook up to your TV. Okay, that's fine. Um, But here's the key. What they should have done is just basically, you see how the Switch can hook up to your TV? Somehow, like, upgrade the DS and make it hook up to your TV. And then they'd be way ahead as far as the Switch and everything it can do. Because, yeah, yeah, and, it, you know, that makes sense. The old school GameCube, could you could take your, bat, you know, GameCube and use it as the controller. Okay, continue it with the DS. Use your DS as the controller. <laughs> hook it up to your GameCube 2. Hook it up to your TV. Easy. They've already done it before. You know, and just make good story games. That's all they had to do. Bring back browser support. I know, right? Yeah, that's... I don't know why they ever... Anyway, my point is... Yeah, GameCube 2, it was definitely in talks. It was definitely confirmed. It was definitely... You know, on message boards. It wasn't just a rumor. Like, they were legitimately considering, hey, how about we ignore all this, you know, connect stuff and all this hand motion technology? How about we just focus on what we do that's good, make good stories, and yabba dabba do? I don't know. I don't know who got to the president, man, but somebody convinced that, that uh, young man, or the president at the time. I forget who it was. Somebody convinced him. We got to ride the wave motion, you know, capture devices, or Nintendo's dead. <laughs> Just like, oh man, they really drunk the Kool-Aid. And uh, fortunately, it was the worst flavor of Kool-Aid. It was orange. Yeah, that's, uh, yep. So, big mistake by Nintendo. I think they are learning from their mistake. They're definitely feeling the economic repercussions. But, uh, wow. This has been the Wii U discussion. Well, the Wii. The, the original Wii. The Wii U ain't that bad. I'll be honest. But, uh... <laughs> Alright, so that's it. I mean, you know... <laughs> wow. Oh my, Nintendo. Uh, you know, it's not the greatest mistake by a gaming company. It's pretty up there. It's pretty, uh... Yeah, it's uh, top five, top five gaming mistakes made by big gaming companies. Number five, the Wii. <laughs> you know, we can name some other ones that are higher. Believe it or not, there are higher mistakes than the Wii. You know, I'm just not going to discuss them right now. You know, in my head, you know, I have my own ranking. You guys have your But, uh, oh boy, um, I'm glad Nintendo survived, because uh, I like Pokemon, and uh, <clears throat> and most importantly, I like Zelda, so, you know, yep, close call. Well, and of course, Nintendo puts out, do they put out more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff than PlayStation? No, it's, it's about the same, but I like the competition. Between PlayStation, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Nintendo. For a while, there was a nice little back and forth. You know, Tag Force versus this. Tag Force versus, you know, Nightmare Troubadour. Tag Force Spirit Caller. Tag Force versus, you know, World Championship Series. There was a nice little... And I could talk about that. That's something I could talk about. So, for a while, there was just a Yu-Gi-Oh! competition. You know, World Championship was on Nintendo. 
Hack Force was on PlayStation. Boom, 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 boom. Compete, 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 compete. Graphic, graphic, graphic. Basically, one would come out with better graphics. One would come out with this. One would come out with better story. One would come out with this. One would come out with this. And really, uh, by the end of the, you know, battle, the duel, the animation on both sides and storyline looked pretty good, honestly. And we're kind of in a good, you know, era for Yu-Gi-Oh! games in, in general. You know, it's just every Yu-Gi-Oh! game was crisp. Uh, every little, you know, monster that was summoned had like an animation or... <laughs> And some of the attack force lines are just iconic. You know, you, you see the flash like at the end and the the cut for the character, and it's just, yeah. I mean, you can YouTube those. Those are pretty iconic. Yeah, just for fun. Just you know, um, yeah. So pretty nice overall. Um, yeah. So we would have been good on Yu-Gi-Oh games. You know, had Nintendo died or whatever, you know. No, and I don't think Nintendo would have died. But, you know, if things from... They could have started cutting off some franchises, which, <laughs> to be honest, they kind of did. Remember that Mega Man fiasco? But, uh, yeah, Link Evolution is the last video game with Air Neos in it. Hmm. Oh, oh, you mean it's the latest one. Yeah. Um, Air Neos. You know, I... Uh, let's look up this YouTube video. I saw this in my recommended. Hang on. Um, hang on. <laughs> I saw this in my recommended, and I passed on it. But let's look at this, because this is honestly, I haven't seen this video. So... We're live in 5, 4, 3... Let's begin, shall we? Around Air Neos. Living well starts so, with supplementing well. Know. It only takes one. Uh, D3K2 vegan certified... Let me switch Hello, this everyone! This will be reaction content, so... Because I've never... Link Evolution. Okay, well this video was made a year ago, so... Anyway, let's switch to. Yep. Okay. Let's switch to gameplay for a second. All right, here we go. Here we go. On it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, and welcome back to another okay. Yu-Gi-Oh! video. So in today's video, I want to talk about a topic that has really gained my interest over these last two weeks. Mm. It's a card that has not been reprinted since 2007. It's a card that was a cover card for one of the sets in the OCG and TCG Strike of Neos. And it's a card that Judai Yuki used a few times in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And that card is Elemental Hero Air Neos. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably know already about the weird circumstances that surround Air Neos. And it goes way beyond the fact that this card has not been reprinted since 2007. Where a lot of Neos cards and a lot of uh, new Neos cards have been reprinted or printed since then. But with a new Neos support card that... Yeah, and like, they even had like that new set. Um... Hang on, I think I might. Yeah, they even have, I've still got this sealed chat, look at that, they even have this, when was this released, this is Dark Neo Storm, yeah, this is sealed, yeah, they, uh, this was released, Copyright 
2017. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. This is Dark Neo Storm. So, not too old of a set. This was released, like, just a little while ago, honestly. So, they clearly have new support. You know, sets. Why wasn't Air Neos in 2019? Thank you, Iga. Thank you. Yeah, this is 2019. So, why wasn't Air Neos in this set? Well, we're about to find out. Yeah. Yeah, because that's not even... That's only four years ago. That came out a few weeks ago. Instant Contact. The conspiracies surrounding Air Neos kind of circulated a lot more recently. And so, I wanted to do a video just diving into this whole conspiracy if you will and give my own two cents on it and see what you guys think about the mystery behind this card and so Air Neos is a monster that was used a few times by Judai throughout the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX series I believe it was the only Neos fusion that did not debut in season two I think it did debut in season three and I believe he used it three times in seasons three and seasons four and if you own this card which was released in the strike of neo set in the tcg you are sitting on a pretty penny this card is worth about 170 dollars and you might be asking yourself why is that card worth so much well it is not a used copy 800 for used you know first edition that's amazing because they've just never reprinted Up and reprinted in 15 years. It was released in Strike of Neos. It was the cover card for that set. And it has not been reprinted once since then. And so that's led a lot of people to ask the question, why? I think why is always a great question we can ask for a lot of different topics. And this is no different. Why has Air Neos been seemingly forgotten by Konami? And the more you dive into it, the weirder the story gets. So Elemental Hero Air Neos, to my knowledge, has been featured in quite a few video games. It was featured in Link Evolution most recently. However, Elemental Hero Air Neos is not in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and even more suspiciously, not in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I think it's the only Neos card that's been released that is not accessible in master duel and there's a few that i think are missing in duel links but it's not accessible in duel links either however it was just in legacy of the duelist which was only about three years ago so the common theory surrounding elemental hero air neos is that there is an issue with a legality rights for the card and the card might have been a copyrighted drawing there might be some sort of copyright issue with the artist that drew Elemental Hero Air Neos. Maybe the artist plagiarized an already existing IP and Konami and Shueisha are aware of this and that's why they don't have any legal rights or they don't want to risk distributing Distributing the card again because what was Dylan saying might be some sort of copyright issue with the artist that drew Elemental Hero Air Neos. Maybe the artist plagiarized an already existing oh, IP oh. and Konami and Shueisha are aware of this and that's why they don't have any legal rights or they don't want to risk distributing the card again because the artwork is plagiarized and they don't have the rights to it. That that's a pretty interesting theory that I think does hold a little bit of weight, and that's why it's not craftable in Master Duel or accessible in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. The other theory is that there might be an issue with the name of the card, because Neos Air, and this is all stuff that I've kind of found on Reddit, uh, pretty popular fan theories over the years, because Air, uh, Neos Air, excuse me, is an airline in Italy. And because Neos Air is an airline in Italy, they don't want to use the name Air Neos because of that reason, oh. which that one, as someone who has a little bit of a business crazy. background, that doesn't really hold too much weight. Um, Neos Air and Air Neos, there's enough of a difference there. Um, and also, you can't really own a name. Um, I mean, you can trademark a name, but you can still name something similarly if it's for an entirely different product. Air Neos I'll being be honest, a trading card. Pretty... 
and Neos Air mm. being an airline, yeah, I don't think there would really be any issue there. So mm. I don't know if okay. that theory holds okay. too much weight, but and it is know, interesting that that is a theory that's gained a little bit of ground airplane. in the community over the years. I mean, and then other people they, will they say there's no issue. The card is just not that good, so, and so Konami's not going to bother reprinting it, even though they've reprinted a lot of Neos, I think every Neos monster, or almost everyone probably, over the years. And some people say that people make nothing out of this. But I think there's more. And maybe it's the conspiracy theory loving person. The harmless conspiracy theories, of course, loving person within me that wants there to be more and thinks there's more because if that was the case, if Konami really felt like it just wasn't a card worth reprinting, why make the decision to exclude it from Master Duel, a game that has yeah. so many, I think almost every card is craftable in Master Duel. Yeah, that's pretty, what Dillian is saying here. That's pretty. I think it's like a dual masters case where they lost the. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I. That sounds. Yeah. They just kind of forgot about it. Yeah. I. I think you're on the right track. Um. But what what Dylan's saying here is the fact that, I mean, you can craft so many cards in Master Duel. The fact that you can't craft air neos which it's not even the best neos fusion i mean there's some funny otks you can do with it because you can mani manipulate its attack but by paying life points but <laughs> what's really funny is that air hummingbird is still <laughs> it's still in master duel so air hummingbird you know, Neo Spatian Aqua Dolphin went from being the worst Neo Spatian to being the best. And Air Hummingbird went from being, you know, one of the most... Because if you put it turn one, you get 2,500 life. That ain't too bad. You know, for old school. But uh, Air Hummingbird went from being the best old school one to now not even being playable in Master Duel. You can't even contact Fuse with it. How are you going to make Storm Neos? Uh, wow, that's... Uh... Well, I guess you can make Storm Neos. But let's say you're missing a piece of Storm Neos. And you don't have Aqua Dolphin. Well, you can't even make Air Neos. If your board's just Neos and Hummingbird. Somebody pops your Aqua Dolphin. Because they don't want the hand rip. See, that's crazy. But yeah, I think Dylan's on to something here. The fact that you can't even craft it in Master Duel, that's pretty telling. That's, uh, like you said, maybe the licensing rights, but... Why and make the like decision to exclude kind of that card specifically? That, you know? And it gets more interesting when That's you look crazy. at a card that was revealed two weeks ago in the slew of Neo support that came out, and that card is Instant Contact. So Instant Contact is a card that is coming out in the OCG in, I believe, a few weeks or in about a month, one, and this card is artwork low. is ripped right mm. from... Okay, so all the other one contact cards are in the picture by one contact i mean this is the one with flare scarab this is the one with grand mole you see what i mean but the one with air hummingbird it's not in the picture wow that's pretty telling yeah a scene in opening three of Yu-Gi-Oh gx teardrop fantastic opening listen to it if you have not wow. or listen to it again if you have not in a while fantastic this opening crazy, let's watch crazy. that scene real quick so you see all the neos fusions flash from behind neos it's right, a really cool right. shot yeah, and let's take back. a look at the card obviously yeah. it's just ripped from that opening with one pretty major difference i'm gonna have a side by side right here you notice mm. a monster at the very that, top of Neos in the opening three? That. Nope. that is Elemental Hero Air Neos. Mm. You notice how he's not on the card that was printed and revealed two they weeks clipped, ago? They clipped Another decision to, wow. if you will, censor Elemental Hero Air Neos from That's the record books. And so telling. why is once again, this is another example this is another instance where elemental hero air neos is clearly purposefully being yep. hidden away from us 
as Yu-Gi-Oh players by Konami. I don't have any issue with people thinking that this is nothing, that it's just them not wanting to reprint an old card. You know, it is what it is. I, I get that. But I have a little bit of an issue with the fact that they chose to not put it in Master Duel. It's not in Duel Links. And now they are making another effort, another obvious effort to exclude Elemental Hero Air Neos from the spell card Instant Contact. And that leads me to believe that there might be a copyright issue with the card. We must get some kind of copyright. Like you said, I that's yeah. You know, and and what's funny is like in my head, the minute he showed that picture, like I could I could visualize the wing because I've seen that that anime opening. You know, I've watched the sub so many. It was drawn. It was plagiarized. That, the only know, other card like that Elemental Hero Air Neos appears on is Dimension Explosion, which was also released in 2007. Okay. So it's okay. not like this Elemental Hero monster has made any sort of appearance on a card uh, between 2007 and present day, which is 15 years. I mean, that's a long time, guys. I was 12 years old when Elemental Hero Air Neos came out. I mean, that is a long time. And you might not know this, but there have been Yu-Gi-Oh cards before that have had to change their artwork due to plagiarism issues. The only one that I know of is Mad Lobster, and I actually learned this from Reddit user uh, Spoons Are Evil when I was going through a few Reddit posts regarding this topic. Mad Lobster is a card that came out in 2005. I'm sure 90% of you probably don't even know this card because why would you? But let's take a look at the original art for Mad Lobster, and let's compare it to the Sea Claw monster in the Altel card game, which was released in 2004. Hopefully that's not a card game that I'm butchering the name of. It probably is. And you can see that this is clearly plagiarized. Uh, the artist who drew Mad Lobster, the Yu-Gi-Oh card, looked at the Altel Sea Claw and said, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep every single feature except I'm going to replace the head with a more demonic, creepier-looking head, and we'll call it a day. And that's literally the what they did. This was legitimately a Yu-Gi-Oh card before Konami or, uh, or Shueisha, whoever it was, realized, oh no, you clearly plagiarized this. I'm sure they fired the artist and they changed it to a more uh, detailed and better-looking monster that maybe has inspiration from the Altel monster, but is clearly not a carbon copy ripoff just with a different head. So there have been instances before in Yu-Gi-Oh where yeah. plagiarism has happened. Now, they changed the artwork for this. Why wouldn't they just change the artwork for Air Neos if that's the case? I don't really know. Yeah, the yeah. other thing is no yeah. one has ever been able to point to the just card like the that Air that. Neos supposedly rips off. Right, this has been out for 15 years. You'd think one person would say, huh, you know, Elemental Hero Air Neos looks a lot like that Altel card or a lot like that Shadowverse card. I don't think Shadowverse was around in 07, but you know what I mean. No one's been able to point out the card that Air Neos might rip off. So, you know, and also it was included in Legacy of the Duelist, which came out only three or four years ago. So there are so many weird circumstances yeah. surrounding That's Elemental Hero really Air Neos. And I thought with the really recent weird. support yeah. card um, being instant mm. contact, the like fact that I it was censored said, you know, again, yeah, the fact that it's not Legacy accessible in Master Duel, and these are all, of course, new developments that have happened over the last month and a half. And regarding Elemental Hero Air Neos, I felt like it was a flash. good time to kind of take a little bit of a deep dive and delve into the hmm. backstory and conspiracies surrounding this card what do i think i think that there is some sort of legality issue i'm not sure yeah. if it's necessarily plagiarized artwork i'm not sure if it's a naming issue and i know you just say well dylan why don't they just change the artwork or the name i don't know maybe the people that say there is no issue here and they just don't want to reprint it maybe they they do have a little bit of weight there and that's why they hmm. don't want to go through the effort of changing the name or reprinting it. I mean, Firewall Dragon uh, was banned for a long time. It probably only got an errata because it was Playmaker's yeah, ace monster. Yeah. I mean, Aaron Neos was used in the GX anime, but it was not 
you know, it's not the first elemental hero fusion monster I think of when I think of E heroes and GX. And so maybe they just really right. don't feel like there's a need to change it. But I do definitely think there is some sort of legality issue. And maybe that yeah, legality like, issue rose a little line, more I'm after like, mm. it was in Legacy of the Duelist. And that's why it's not in Master Duel. That's why it's clearly no, censored from instant DLC contact. Air. I don't know. It is a weird, weird you know, story. Like I, and any so thoughts or theories that you guys have on it, yeah. I would love to know yeah, down below that, that in the sense. comments yeah, section. But I like, hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe you didn't even know anything about the history like of Air Neos, and so you learned something new. Know. Either like way, I want to thank you guys you know? so much for so. being here and checking out the video. And if yeah. there are any other cards like this, uh, please let me know. I would love to know if there are any yeah, other cards cool. that have just weird right. stories the way they've been kind of handled. or the whole video right there, but... Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, because he starts to like think his patrons and stuff. But yeah, crazy, crazy. So, and he made this. Now, keep in mind, he he made this about a year ago. Uh, you know what I want to do right now? I want to boot up Master Duel right now, and let's see if we can craft Air Neos now, because that's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and. Uh, I'm basically done as far as the YouTube work. Um, plus, I was going to do my daily uh, yabba dabba doos. And I'm done with my lunch as well. So, <laughs> that's great. Like, what are my thoughts? Like, honestly, I think I think it's a combination of things. Because, you know, with, with these kind of issues, it's never like just one thing. Um, but I think it's a combination of, you know, the airline. Because you do have to... Spellbinding. Just coding it. Spellbinding circle isn't in Master Duel? Are you, are you trolling? What? <laughs> Wait, what? I get you trolling. <laughs> well, anyway. Uh, we're going to look up two cards, Spellbinding Circle and Air. Um, I just want to see if you can craft them. Huh. You know, because it has been a year since Dylan put that. Uh, it's true. Wow. Dark Magician players getting the shaft again. I bet you Shadow Spell's in the game. You know, Kaiba's Spellbinding Circle. I bet you that's in the game. Well, anyway, we're going to find out. But, uh, yeah, what what do I think? Yeah, like I said, I think it's a combination of, you know, the airline thing, it makes a lot of sense. They have the red and white and the, the cup scheming. Uh, you know, and Air Neos, Neos Air, it's, yeah, it's, the naming is close enough to where, and I could see an airline doing that, just being like, no, you can't take our name. It's copyright. And, you know, we've trademarked it. We've trademarked. You know, and we don't want any, you know, negative press from a children's trading card. But, but I mean, still, you you are running your own airline. You do copyright like the name and like adjacent names. You know what I mean? So, I could see that being an issue. I really could. Um, the airline thing, and like like I just said, mo most likely like the physical image itself. They like forgot to renew the copyright. You know, after season. Four. Well, after they were supposed to dub season four, they just kind of they moved on from GX so quick that they forgot to renew the copyright. I, I could see Konami doing that. They're pretty, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it just sounds like if it sounds like something they would do, they probably did it. You know, it's yeah. I think it's a combination of really. All those things, you know, it's just, yeah, if it feels right, it's probably right, you know. So, no, it's true. Well, I guess we'll, I, I mean, sorry, I, I just got to see it to believe it. You know, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> and I made that joke about Dark Magician players getting, <laughs> it, 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 you know, it's, uh, yeah, you poor, poor guys, Dark Magician players, man. Mm. Uh, anyway, let's change the capture. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel the Investigation Chronicles. Just kidding. 
I guess we can do some dailies while we're here. But uh, wow. Yeah, and, and it's crazy. Like, uh, even like I just said, this came out in 2018. Air Neos is not in this set. I should have mentioned that, but Air Neos, Dark Neo Storm, Air Neos ain't in here. It's not in here. It's just, it's not in here. So, you know, the, that's pretty telling that this set, which, you know, supported Neos, doesn't have Air Neos. Yeah, that's pretty, because uh, they didn't even reprint it. So that's pretty, that's pretty telling to try out duels. Okay, underway. Yeah, let's go to the deck. Let's uh, see what Iga was talking about. Let's just pull up this. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly, Iga. Exactly. Um, the air... Neos. Nope, you still can't craft it. <laughs> In fact, the recommendation is this because it has air and Neos in the... Wow. You can't even craft it. If you just type Neos and you hit related cards, it doesn't come up. It's, uh, it's not here. Yep. It's still not in Master Duel. You know, over a year over after that uh, that video that Dylan made. Great video by Dylan, by the way. You guys don't... If you guys like Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah, check him out. I recommend him. He's uh, he's pretty good. Some of his videos are pretty, pretty awesome to just kind of think about or learn new stuff. He, he, he goes over a lot of the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. So, yeah, check him out. Dylan, Yu-Gi-Oh, everything. Yeah, a lot of Neos fusions here. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, but not air, not air. Wow. Yeah, that's. Uh, mm. All right, let's look at a spellbinding circle. Well, first, let's see if shadow spells in here. Let's see. Shadow spell. Oh, there you go, Kaiba fans. There you go. You want to build the original starter Kaiba deck? There you go. Oh, I mean. Wow, it's not. Circle spell. spell. <laughs> yeah, why isn't this card Master Duel? It's not even. Oh, Iga. I, Iga, I have a question for you. I just realized why it's not in Master Duel. <laughs> um, <laughs> is it because of let me see uh, original art the hexagram? Yeah, something about the mechanic being. Well, that's clearly not true, Iga, because Shadow Spell has the same mechanic. I think the reason it's not in there is because of the question I just asked you, which is. So, I could yeah let me let me let me let me show you guys the original artwork for Spellbinding Circle. I have a feeling this is why it's not in Master Duel, not the game mechanic thing. Hang on. Hang on here. Mm -hmm. Let's pull up good old Google, our friend. Go to images. Uh -huh. Let's type in spell find king circle. Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, yeah, Master Duel. Someone's already searched this up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's clearly not game mechanic, but I think I know why. So if we go over here to images... Oh, I should probably switch to my uh, uh, Chrome here. <clears throat> if we go to images over here... 
Mm-hmm. We will see that, uh, well, there's certain uh, connotations about Spellbinding Circle that uh, they may not want to deal with. Let's see here. Or, more likely, they just kind of forgot about it, you know. But, uh... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, 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 My internet is lagging. Good thing I didn't switch, actually. We are getting some lagtacular... Some lagtacular lag. I could open my door. Hang on. All right, this is the artwork I was talking about, Iga. Ready? Uh, let's see. Let's go to studio. Let's go here. Let's go here. <laughs> so, guys, this is what I was talking about right here. See that? That's the original artwork. Yeah, that. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, for those of you who don't know. This has some certain, uh, uh, let's just say, religious connotations. And, uh, yeah, this card's basically been controversial, you know, ever since it was even released, you know. So, yeah. And again, now, why don't they just use this artwork? I don't know. Maybe pe enough people know about this artwork now, and they don't want to bother with the, uh, you know, the... Uh, community that's against this artwork you know and there is a certain community of people that uh yeah <laughs> yep that uh still you know kind of uh yeah that's true too yeah, the fact that a monster is being, you know, shackled, you know, so that's kind of, um, yeah, that's kind of, a. Uh, I can see why they wouldn't want to deal with that. You know, that's, uh, uh yeah, um, here it's a rule, um, gotcha, yeah, mm-hmm. This card affects target one monster your opponent controls. You can also target a face down. Oh no, Shadow Spell says face up. Ooh. That's right, guys. Spell binding circle. Power crept. Shadow spell. The effect continuously targets the monster. While this effect's being applied, that monster yeah, can't do that or change its battle. And all the previous TCG rulings have been changed ever since. Hmm. This card cannot be activated during the damage step card being destroyed because the targeted monster was destroyed does not start a chain link. Hmm. Wow, look at all the previous rulings. Gee, willikers. So maybe this is why. I guess I can show this on my screen here. Hang on. Maybe. Maybe this is why. Because Iga was saying, oh, they can't code it in the game. Um... You know, that doesn't make sense either, because think about this card, Iga. Like, Tribute to the Doomed. That can target a face-down monster, so... What's the problem with this card, you know? Uh, again, these are old rulings. So... Yep, prevents it from being flip-summoned. Mm-hmm. Tributed. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Again, these are old. The new rulings are pretty clear. <laughs> Little Wingard tech. Hell yeah. No, but these are the rulings as it stands, I'm guessing, Iga. Yeah, it targets one monster your opponent controls. Pretty simple, really. Uh, continuously targets the targeted monster. That's a bit unique, but it's not, like, problematic. While applied, yeah, that monster can't attack and can't change its battle position. I mean, most of the time you're going to use this on a face-up monster anyway. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can change it with Book of Moon or, like, Goblin Attack Force, etc. Yeah. Card cannot be activated in the damage. Okay. 
that actually saves you a step and does not start a chain link. Yeah, so I don't know, man. I think just uh, that's not, you know, weird or unique enough to have a coding issue. Not in my book, anyway. So, no, but spellbinding continuously targeting when it flips should be treated as a new... Oh, yeah, because a face-down... Yeah, a face-down defense position monster is treated as a new monster. Kind of. Okay. All right. I see that, Iga. But, I mean... Okay. The goal for this stream is... I'm going to think of, like, ten cards that target face-down monsters. Now, do they do it continuously? I guess not. Maybe that is the problem. It's the continuously part. Maybe that is the problem. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the coding for Master Duel and how you would apply continuously. Uh, okay, 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 I give it to you, Aga. That's, uh, that's probably the coding problem. Probably. Hmm. It's kind of like, yeah, yeah, and I mean, Spellbinding Circle, you know, lingers because of all sorts of things, like if the monster's tributed or flip face down, that does it linger? Yeah, you know, so, but, but like, lingering isn't a problem, because you just said it yourself, called the Haunted's in the game, so, you know, lingering continuous effects aren't really a problem. I think the problem is, is that it continuously targets, continuously targets the targeted monster. So that's kind of, it's got to do with coding. It's got to be something with the coding because, and like you said, if it's flipped face down, it's treated as a new monster. Yeah, so. Also, one thing I will say for Spellbinding Circle, which totally isn't fair, you Dark Magician fans. One thing I will say. <laughs> you know. While we're discussing this with Iga. So in the anime. <laughs> this card had the 700 point decrease. This card right here. You know that we were just talking about. Spellbinding Circle. It also had a 700 point decrease. Of uh, attack points. And it's so funny. That that card has the 700 decrease. Now in the anime, this card had a 1000 point decrease. So Kaiba had the better version. Yeah, would, uh, would anyone really be upset <laughs> if they not only fixed Spellbinding Circle, you know, made it work? And Would anybody be upset if they gave it the 700 point decrease? Just, just Konami, just, just slap that on there. No one will even notice, man. Yeah, just, yeah, Spellbinding Circle, whenever you fix it for Master Duel and update it, whatever. Just errata it. Errata it, add the 700 point decrease. The Spellbinding Circle. Because, like, it's not going to matter. I mean, it'll matter to me. That's, you know, the, the viewer, the fan. But, yeah, that's crazy, man. That's, uh... Yeah, just 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 add the seven hundred point decrease. <laughs> Dark magician fans have been getting screwed for long enough, you know. Just uh, just give them this one. Just say, hey, here you go. Here's your legacy support. We eroded a twenty seven year old card. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's do some duels, man. Let's get into some ranked. I didn't even look at our dailies. Yeah, yeah, dude. This is true. Um, also, in the anime, I did some stuff with immobility that I'm not really going to discuss here. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, like, tons of monsters they become immobile. Meaning they're on the field, but you can basically attack around them and uh, just kind of 
Yeah. <laughs> Including Dark Magician himself. But anyway. Do you remember that Dark Energy card from Episode 1? Yeah, uh, neg negative, uh, negative Energy Generator. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, I, I would have no problem with them printing that card, but uh, they'd probably be best off if it worked on a monster with, like, 1,500 attack or less. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See, I get, we're, we're, we're on the same wavelength here. You know, yeah, that's... Yeah, you know. But then again, there is, you know, Iga, we have to consider, there is a Dark Warrior monster known as Mataza the Zapper that can inherently attack twice. Okay, maybe 1250 or less. Because <laughs> Mataza has 1300. Maybe 1250. 1299 or less. Wow, purely cash. I can't wait to see this deck. You know, after I pull it up. Yeah, we ain't sitting through that chat. Sorry. That is a... Uh, <laughs> you know, for our first duel, that's a little... Mm, I don't know about that. Let's take a look. This is purely cash. Well, I mean, they got... Uh, sure. Mm. Okay, I go. 1,500 or less. Uh, yep. It's... Uh, yep. Kind of just... Uh, All right, looks pretty good to me. Purely cash. If you guys want that purely build, there you go. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't think I'll play Master Duel too long. Yeah, probably do the dailies and check out. Take my gems to go. Um. I'm trying to think about what I was supposed to do today. But, uh... Anyway. Interesting hand. Do, 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 do. Right, I should mute Chrome. Yes, that is that is definitely what I should do here. Chrome, we put the mute button. Da, 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 da. Right. There we go. I'm ex. Wait, wait, what? They're making an actual enemy control. <gasps> really, Iga? Ooh. Ooh, you mean like a physical, like, thing you can hold in your hand? Ooh. I'd buy that. I'd buy that. Yeah, yeah. An enemy controller controller? That would be... Oh, tier elements. Ah, well, they're halfway through the combo. I guess we'll sit through this. Ah, jeez, man. Premium Bandai. Hmm. That sounds good. Uh, <laughs> you ever think Master Duel listens to, like, you know, conversations you have with your friends? Uh, not Bandai. <laughs> I swear, Master Duel is just trying to... Mm-mm-mm. Alright, this is going to get booped, but... Uh... <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Let's pass. Konami Store. Gotcha. Okay, I got... Yeah. Yeah, it'll be like a Konami controller. That doesn't sound too bad, honestly. That's, uh... Yeah, that honestly sounds really cool. Like, <laughs> like imagine just playing, um... I'm just gonna flip this. Yeah, imagine playing, um... I don't know, whatever. Like, uh... Whoa, okay. Like, uh, anything you want. You know, here on your... <laughs> you're playing, uh, you know, um, Valorant. And you've got an enemy controller controller. And you're just like. Up, down, left, right, A, B. This allows me to tribute your monster. <laughs> I mean that'd be pretty cool. So. Yeah. That honestly sounds pretty fly. Hmm. 
I wonder what the... Well, well, I got left a link here. I can check out the price tag. Do, 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 do. Well, will I buy it when it's brand new? Maybe Black Friday. I'll, uh, yeah. uh, sounds pretty good. Sounds like a good Black Friday deal to me. Let's go to this link right here. Yeah, let's take a look. <laughs> pretty cool. Wow. What, they're not fusing? Wow, I guess they bricked on spells. Wow, tier can brick. <laughs> Who knew? And I can certainly brick. This is a uh, this is a brick house war. Next thing you know, we're gonna start throwing uh, throwing a uh, mortar at each other. Jeez, look. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should take some cards out of this deck. I'm thinking. <laughs> Honestly, this tier duel isn't bad though. You know, they're not taking, you know. 15 minutes with their turn. They're not bringing out Dragos to Paleo and all that. So, you know. 120 average? Yeah, I can say for that. That's that's worth it. That's worth it. That's honestly worth it. So. Yeah. Hmm. Not bad. The rule. Monster. <laughs> that is the worst possible draw I could have gotten right now. <laughs> ah, Master Duel loves to troll. Yep. <clears throat> I like this cross sheet, by the way. That's pretty cool. <laughs> the rocking chair. Rocking and rolling. This feels like, uh... <laughs> anybody ever have a, uh... Lajin, Mystical Genie of the Lamp Beatdown Duel? I mean, <laughs> basically what this feels like. There are no ant weight. No oh, analogs. What? Back to PS1? Why are... Oh my... Who? Mm, no, and... Um, uh, that's kind of a problem. No analogs. No oh, man. You know, we might have just helped them out here, by the way. Because odds are, one of these three cards is a super poly. So... Uh, we'll see. The ultimate tech. 1800 defense. Take that. Now, play your super poly. <laughs> Alright. What in no time? Well. Hmm. What's funny is if this card gets banished somehow, this ain't so bad. I'll activate. I'm not going to activate anything. I'll set a bluff. Ass. It's so funny, the one du the one tier duel, I have Nibiru, right? They're not wombo -wub wombo comboing. That is quite Master Duel is the best troll in the entire planet. I'm like convinced that uh they know with it. Okay. Now here's the thing, chat. You're ever in a situation like this, you don't want to set off the first minefield right i mean you normally this would be a good play you play gale you haul their attack you clear the monster right no they're not doing anything they clearly can't do anything they're not doing anything you don't do anything if i summoned gale i have a feeling i would massively help them out trust your instincts so i'll just set another bluff and pass now are we gonna lose this duel yes but I'm not going to help them win. Because <laughs> if they're not doing anything, you know, obviously, they need us to do something. To, like, use a monster effect, etc. So, okay, there's that. So, there you go. That will be the scream, which only lowers attack, and now they can start to do stuff. So, but yeah. And, yeah, like, tears have plenty of cards that say, oh, hey, if your opponent activates monster effect A, do B. So, yep. So now they should start fusing. I hope they f they summon more than five times. That'd be pretty helpful here. By the way, Inferno Tempest has been offline for quite a few turns. So, do-do-do. 
do 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 do. This should be Big Bertha. Whoa. Okay, there we go. A Lido. Heart. Right. Shuffle it into the deck. <laughs> okay. Let me show you what you shuffled. <laughs> there you go. Oh no, you got rid of my remove brainwashing. Boy, I was really worried about that one. Next. Do 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 <laughs> now, this thing looks so cool, man. And they've got Kaiba in the background. Heck yeah. ESL, Yu Gi Oh! Duel Monsters, Enemy Controller, Complete Edition, limited in Japan. Look at that. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. That is pretty awesome. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Not too bad. Do 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 do. Oh, it doesn't play real games. Ooh. I still kind of want one, just as a collector's item. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can just have one and buy one and put it on the wall back there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I still want one. But I'm probably going to wait for the price to. Maybe. You know, kids these days are incredibly smart. Just like, it's unbelievable how. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Our society is in a good spot. So. I agree, Iga. Renato. Roman Roman numerals. That's uh V X five hundred and fifteen. I think I got that right. It's time to duel. Uh oh, let's check the extra deck. Okay. Nice little mm, this hand's okay. Exodia. No, who am I kidding? Any deck can run upstart. Cyberdwagon. Wait, if she won the coin, coin, coin toss, why go first in Cyber Dragons? Um. Hmm. Like, if they resold it with an actual... Yeah, yeah, you know, then... Yeah, they're smart. That's what they'll do. Yeah, that's, um, hmm. You know, I don't know why you wouldn't make a controller that at least has one capability. Now that you mention it, you know, if you're going to go out of your way to make it, at least make it work on Xbox or like say, you know, you can just have one, you know, you can make it exclusive for like PlayStation or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what do I know? Maybe they just wanted to... Uh, we're so excited about getting it out. They're just like, hey, let's go ahead and put this out here. <laughs> and uh, let's work on the functionality later, you know. Yeah, use the cells from... Because people like me will buy them, you know, even if they don't, you know, function. And then, yeah, just use the money you get from that to invest in ones that do function. So, you know, there you go. If that's even something you want to do, you may just want to collect and get pay dirt. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, wow, this is a fantastic turn for them. I'm still trying to figure out why go first. I guess Infinity is a pretty good card. The problem is, 
I've got two kaiju monsters in hand, so... Yeah, why did they go first? I think... Uh, mm, what? Ami... Ami is a good site people use for... Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Clockwork Knight. Hmm. Hmm. Bigger. Hmm. End phase. All right, chat. We're about to end this man's whole car. That's a good start. So this has an attack boost, right? This card. Cyber Dre, uh, <laughs> like they would have, um, that would have been a good going second. Well, I guess there's some, I don't know, maybe, you know, that is Cyber Dragon player's greatest weakness is going first. Yeah, maybe they're just trying to see if they can combo good enough turn one. Hmm. Hmm. So there's core. Well, we're gonna ogre because that's how this works. We're gonna all right. Clockwork Knight dropping the stats. Hey, it does matter. Um, we're going to Thunder King. Right? Which that stat does matter. Uh, we are going to add Prep or rations. We are going to set preparations. We are going to bus. Not too bad of a hand here. We are going to normal summon Olga using bus. Big buff. We are going to. Hmm. What's funny is I actually want the attack effect of this card, but <laughs> of all cards on this board, Clockwork Knight is actually putting in work. Now, let me double check this. Has not declared an attack. Must only boost this card, right? This card. Okay, so we can at least clear Seeker. Wait a minute. This card or a Cyber Dragon card? Okay. Yeah, we can clear Seeger, so see ya Seeger. Not like they have honest in hand, they've got core. And we know they've got core, so do 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 do. Oh, it can target itself, huh? I should have seen that coming, but uh that is quite okay. I now know how to read chat. Uh that's a bit of a problem. Main two. I guess I would have needed like Fenrir here. But it's all good. Main two, we will. Shangri La. Hmm. What's funny is like not even BLS would have helped there because Clockwork Knight. Yeah, that thing put in some work, I tell you. Some work. Um. Pass. <laughs> not bad. Not bad by Rinatov. Now, luckily, we get our standby phase before any infinity shenanigans. So that should help us quite a bit here. Uh, yep. The one we need is the Banisher. Nope. Nope. Mm, look at extra deck. Yeah, maybe. Um, not ready for a rise heart. Yeah, it's gonna be int. Oh, also, I'm very smart. You see, I forgot about Mega Fleet and leaving this in the extra monster zone. That's very bad on my part. Um, hmm. I think it's Finrear. Yeah, it's Finrear. Okay. Take Finrear. Yeah, I really should have put this down here. All right, so here comes Mega Fleet for sure at some point during this turn. I mean, I'm sure they'll summon Core. 
but Mega Fleet and then yeah, Rampage. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. <clears throat> hmm. I'm pretty sure they just won right here. Yeah, I really shouldn't have left this in the extra monster zone. Infinity number two, Electric Boogaloo. Um, so there's some negation. There's some attaching. Hmm. Right. And then they can Mega Fleet, since I have something in the extra monster zone. And... No ball here. Hmm. Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon. Can search for Power Mon and just go to Twin. <laughs> Even that's pretty good. Wait, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I'll see. That's what I was talking about with the extra monster zone. Yeah, never do that against Cyber Dragons. That's, uh, I mean, we wouldn't have survived that turn anyway. But, uh, geez. He's <laughs> not even running the thief. <laughs> well, they don't need to. They don't, you know. I misplayed. <laughs> That's on me, Chet. I should know better. I should know better than to do that. I'm pretty sure they had game regardless, though, there. Not bad, you know. Clockwork Knight. Put in some work there. Also, me not reading was pretty uh, pretty important, too. All right. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I think the goal of this stream, let's see if we can make it to turn six <laughs> with any duel. <laughs> That'll be the goal. All right. Naviel. Hmm. I recognize that monster. Nice field. Oh, Branded. How lovely. <laughs> um. Uh... So far, so good. We just chilling, I guess. We chilling. Uh, let's see here. Dragon me. <laughs> yeah. I guess they. Uh, I got. I guess they all got uh, payday. <laughs> you know, because obviously, if they're not here, they don't need the money. <laughs> Rin Amamiya. Alright, we'll duel this one. Doesn't matter what deck it is. It can be pur purely branded. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that being said, don't forget to buy your E25 Raycon earbuds for just $19.99. They're sleek. They're smooth. They fit. They don't hurt at all. And they have good premium sound quality. You know, I like listening to different tunes than the default Master Duel. So get your Raycon, uh, whatever I got said, earbuds a day. Sell. Alrighty. Show me that Ash. Ready? Ash, right here. Two from the left. Oh, no Ash. Okay. Well, I guess I'll take another... <laughs> All right. Uh, did we get steam? Ooh, Barone pass. Hell yeah. All right, chat. Let's Barone. Hit the bot on the floor. In the bot on the floor. Synchro Shokan. My very soul. Look at that. Beautiful royal. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, sure. We'll trigger steam. I don't want to negate my own steam. Are you crazy? Uh, we do have gores here, too. So the troops are all here on this one. Uh, let's just set this and end the turn. Yeah. Fun end, though. We've got one negate. Well, two. Pseudo. This is usually a negate. Yeah, usually. What you got, Ren? I wonder if he's running Dragon Maid. Plot twist. It's Red Eyes. Yeah, that would be the ultimate. Uh... Holy crud. Steam has... Huh? What do you... What do you mean by that, Iga? Steam has withstood the sands of time? Uh... Oh, galaxy. Nice. Uh, do I want to negate this? No. That's fine. 
I will, however, called by that. That I will, you know, negate. So, there you go, jumper. Why don't you jump on off to the banished pile? <laughs> there it is. There it is. There's the scoop. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, uh, GG. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let's see this Galaxy Eyes deck. Okay, looks like Galaxy Eyes to me. I'm guessing we stopped, we, we made them, like, yeah, like, called buying that must have stopped them from getting this. So, uh, alrighty. <laughs> People really don't know everything. Well, I mean, I can't really judge. So, you know, I clearly... I can't even pretend to build half this deck, so is it good? I don't know. Maybe cut an ash or two. I don't know, man. I just, honestly, it looks pretty... Uh, the one thing I do know is run three of this, so... You know. Anyway. We'll take that one. We take those. Uh... Yeah, I figured we got at least one mission from that. Trap card two. Okay, so we just need to exceed once. Blink a couple times. He's missing some stuff. Okay. Well, you know, we can't all, you know... <laughs> some of us, you know, just don't like solo mode. I mean, look at look at my solo mode. I mean, you know, I could cr craft a lot of stuff. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Locked, locked, locked. I ain't never doing this. I mean, come on. I, I don't blame the guy, you know. And you only get so much uh, dual-pass craft material. Yeah, you know what? Screw it, you know. Sometimes you gotta run uh, half of a deck. But it's your favorite deck. So you have fun with it anyway. That's good, you know. And, you know, if you're free to play, you know, like me, I mean, you just may not pull it, man. I speed rose. Those that build the Red Eyes deck. The Lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I speed run those to build that. Oh. Gotcha, I Gotcha. Yeah, I should probably quit being lazy. Speaking of lazy. We're dueling against the lazy. He's not lazy. He's not a lazy. He's the lazy. Ten card extra. All right, let's game. Uh, we've got Unicorn. This grabs Bertha, I'm pretty sure. Big Bertha. All right, we get Big Bertha, but first, show me that imperm. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, we get this card, and... Will I activate this? I fear Harpy's Feather Duster. So I'll set a card, and pass. We've got some interesting going second cards here. Let's see if they can OTK. Very possible. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Okay, this is an OTK. All right, let's see that. Uh, what's the new one? Samoon? Uh, I don't know. May not even have Samoon. Um, if he does, that's two world. Oh, yeah, this is gonna get nasty. <laughs> you know. You know, not the bad nasty, the good nasty. You know, the kind of like someone throws down a, a dunk with just one hand off of one foot from the free throw line. That kind of nasty. Just like, man, that was a nasty dunk, sweet dunk. Literally, literal EEV hand. EEV. Uh, eradicator epidemic virus. Is that right? Sure, I'll get rid of an extra deck card. Um, should probably get rid of... It doesn't matter. They're going to have three copies, right? Uh, where? Oh, where's a No Tongue? No Tongue. Do they have No Tongue? Is it... Hey, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Iga is... <laughs> yeah, true. 
Um, is no tongue a six? Do you see no tongue in here, Iga? Because I don't. No tongue? I don't see no tongue. <laughs> All right, let's just get rid of Black Wing Drake. <laughs> I guess. True. Yeah, that's true. I guess you see, you see, they they basically have my build, which hey, you know, my build ain't got it. So I feel your brother. I'm 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 there with you. I am the lazy. That's uh yeah. yeah. I feel you, brother. Hey, that's uh it's hard out here. The economy's rough. It's hard out here for a pimp. No, seriously though. So two ads off of war I feel like they can OTK anyway. Because you're getting two ads off of each whirlwind, so that's pretty good. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's two more. Pretty sure they are on Gale. They all. I go what? Orange synchros. Am I missing a? Is is this a meme? Daddy. Orange synchros. What? There's something I don't know about. I'm going to have to Google Orange Synchros after this duel. There's Sharn. Okay. Pretty good. So, uh... And they have Gale. Yeah, this is an OTK. Unless they miss combo. The Assault... Oh! <laughs> right, yeah, everybody forgets about those. I'm, I'm sorry, I... I yeah, that's... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Some of those are just completely... Can I just say it? There's so many Blackwing cards out here, chat. Some of them are not only forgettable, they're absolute garbage. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Hmm. <laughs> Never seen this card before. Hmm. That's an interesting protection effect. Once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by spells and traps. Oh. That's, uh, this seems like an anime moment card. They should be purple. Yeah, I agree. I, got, I completely agree. You know, dark sign or color. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, for those of you who don't know about 5Ds. Yeah, Crow was supposed to be a dark signer. Yeah, you can tell in the opening. You can tell in the... the <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, though. Yeah, Crow. You know, lovable. Yeah, we all love Crow. Crow Crow Hogan. Yeah, that guy was supposed to be a dark signer. You can tell in the second opening. And not to mention, think about Yusei's duel with uh, uh, Kiryu or Kalan or whatever. Yeah, so, you know, it's pretty clear that... Uh, uh, what card was being targeted, by the way, Iga? Um, I forgot what card he targeted. What card was targeted? I'm guessing Vada. I'll just call it by Vada. Uh, oh, it tells me. Nice. <laughs> when in doubt, click button. Click button tell you. Aki was supposed to have a, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, but then, uh, you know, Carly got involved with that whole cult thing, you know, IRL, and they're just like, you know, this whole Arcadia thing, you know how we're doing the, the thing in the anime about cults? Yeah, maybe we should just kind of, <laughs> let's just forget that ever happened. You know, don't look at our voice actors and what they're doing in real life. Yeah, it's a shame. You know, they clearly cared about uh, Aki's character enough to, uh, yeah, you know. But when you have, when you have a IRL issue like that, it's like, eh, you know, we kind of can't, you know. You've already had enough bad publicity. I get it, you know, because you don't want, 
people to stop watching the show. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, but no, no, seriously, Crow was supposed to be, you know, a dark signer. And there was that whole, because like one of the first dark signers we meet is a uh, Colin or, you know, Kiryu. So yeah, Iliaster was supposed to be, mm -hmm. All right, yeah. And yeah, it's pretty clear that uh, I can't believe we survived the OTK. Um, and it's pretty clear that, uh, yeah, so it's pretty clear that, uh, you know, f they're setting up 5Ds to be like, oh, you know, the enemies of Yusei have come for him. Or the old friends or whatever, you know, yeah. And, you know, it's just, uh, yeah, it's a thing. So, um, let's uh, dust this. And, yeah, you know, that's really the entire plot of Season 2. Yugi, I mean, uh, Yugi, Yusei's past has come to haunt him. Which, honestly, is a pretty good plot line. Um, yeah, you know. So, yeah, Crow, a lot of people like Crow and love Crow. And that's great. Um, he's a good guy. Um, I got no problems with Crow. But, yeah, yeah, he's evil. You know, not really, but, you know. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's a thing. We all know it's a thing, so. And, mmm, yeah. Yeah, that's a shame. And it really is, so. Um, yep. So. <clears throat> there goes Sharn, guy. Do, 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 for the pop. This can pop anything, right? Ooh. Ooh, big mistake by them. All right, birth time, Bertha. And let's keep the fun bags going. Bertha, unicorn, back mode, unicorn, and birth. Right, counter crap. <laughs> I forgot it had this effect. Well, it's been fun, chat. Oh wait. Ooh, has it been fun? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. I normal summon this card. Hmm. Okay. We will attack with Unicorn, the, uh, the way this works. Unicorn, let's get out. This is a big boy. See ya. Okay. <laughs> What's funny is I could hurl myself into this, gain the 3k life, but would that matter? Anyway, I think the play here is main two gaming. This thing's unaffected by everything. Hmm. Diablosis. Nope. I think the play is we do this and we don't use its effects. That's interesting. Hmm. Yep. Because once per turn, you can target a card with a wedge, take control of it. They get a wedge after an effect's activated. Huh. Hmm. Pass. This duel has reached an interesting juncture. Uh, but anyway, what I was saying about Kiryu, Kalen, Crow, Evil... Yeah, you know, that's pretty obvious, you know, in the second season. Um, who else comes for you, say? Well, yeah, no, like the canon story, as we find it, you know, Crow eventually just finds them. And, well, even Jack, right? Even Jack Atlas, we learn a lot more about Zakin, you know. Yeah, and uh, Team, what was it called? Satisfaction? <laughs> pretty, Pretty funny name, by the way. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah, you know, shame we never got the concept art 
of uh, Stardust from the last ending, but that's basically the crux of uh, Season 2 of 5Ds. And yeah, you can even see it in, like, if you watch the opening and the subversion, uh, <laughs> Crow's in, like, when he's on his bike, he's wearing, like, and look at this design. Does this scream Immortal Earthbound to you? Look at this. The Nazca lines. And I know this is a newer card. But you look at some of the other Blackwing cards, too, that are synchros and stuff. And you can't help but know. Oh, that's a pretty good card. You can't help but notice um, certain, um, you know. Uh, okay, we'll take the counter now. Yeah, we'll take the counter. And yeah, exactly. I can look at his D wheel design. It's point blank obvious that um, I should probably take Ogre here. Okay. So we'll take Finn Rear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his D wheel design. It just screams, um, you know, evil. <laughs> um, you know, it can fly. It can just, uh, it is just so cool. Um, yeah, you, you might want to ash this partner. Ooh, no ash. Ooh, sorry, catch him. All right. So let's uh, kaiju this. See ya. We drew the out. All right. And let's uh, fin rear. All right, but yeah, yeah, Crow, yeah, lovable guy, great guy, got a bunch of cool stuff in Arc V too. Yeah, evil, 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 unbelievable. <laughs> but uh, nah, you know what? Do I like the changes they made in the anime? Yeah, kinda. You know, I, I mean, at the same time though, you know, if he was evil, if he was a dark signer, he would have died in the end though. So see, that's the problem for me. It's like I think about all the stuff with, you know, uh, you know, the, the arc after that, you know, and yeah, all the great stuff, you know, Crow helps, you know, Jack and you say to do. And, you know, if he's a dark signer, he's obviously not going to be on their side for any of that. That's a shame. So, but uh, Black Return. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jump scare there. Yeah, you can keep this card. <laughs> this card is awful. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess you gain life points, but you have to, I don't know, man. <laughs> this is kind of what I was talking about. I was like, yeah, Blackwing have a lot of just bad cards. Obviously, we're going to get rid of this because, yeah, that's pretty good. Also, this is pretty good. So we'll get rid of that, and then we'll lock up some zones. Huh, against Blackwing, which zone should I lock up? Well, to be quite frank, the scary zone here is actually the Spell and Trap zones because they've kind of already emptied some of their Synchro Pool, and I'm not really too afraid of that. Main 2. Oh, huh. I could overlay into something. What's amazing for Blackwings during events, though? Mm, no, what's up, Iga? What's that? In phase? Muscle draw. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. You are not wrong, Iga. You are... You're not wrong. <laughs> That's quite funny. <laughs> Muscle draw. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, I didn't set macro because I want to be able to avarice before... Uh, um, I don't really think it matters which... Well, I guess it does, yeah. Rise Heart. Uh-huh. A response. No response. <laughs> and I know they drew Bora. Okay, the face downs are worrying me a little bit. There's Zephy, Earn Endo. Hmm, Icarus Attack? Maybe. Maybe so. Uh, nope, let's wait. Let us wait. Stand by. Hey. 
Thank you. I will grab the allowance. Another unicorn. All right. From here, we just try to snowball chat. It's pretty simple. We just, uh, yeah, we do do stuff. So it's uh, happy birthday time. There we go. Candles, all lit. Yep. It is uh, time to prepare. It is. Uh, we will take this. We will add a Cacheteria monster to hand. This is getting out of hand. Hmm. All right. We are snowballing. We will, with birth, summon ogre. Huh? Um, let's start popping some back row, shall we? So we will overlay for... <laughs> Uh, I didn't leave myself enough space. That's a shame. But I can do this. So, uh, wait. Does this banish stuff from the grave? Ah, I don't want to do that. Okay. In that case, I will show you despair. I will overlay into the bestest monster of all time. So, here we go. Can't believe this card's still legal. Gotta enjoy it while it is, man, because it's only a matter of time before this gets banned. Number 89, Diablosis, the Mind Hacker. All right, here we go. So I will detach a horn. And let's just start vanishing. Bye-bye. Uh, Sorry, Borrea. You're my favorite, but... Uh, yeah, gotta go. Uh, effect number one. Uh, effect number two. And here we go. Deck out, deck out, deck out. That's a lot of cards. All right. And this effect activates again. So the spells and traps are locked. Kind of. Um, all right, <laughs> you can just keep going. That's the nice part about cash. You just, you just keep going. You just game some more. You, uh, you know what? Why not? Um, you just go into the next thing and you just, uh, yeah. Now I haven't used any of the attack effects, so maybe I should just go in here. And uh, see what happens. All righty. <clears throat> Ogre, get in there. Show me your trap card. So we'll look at the top five once again. Response. Oh, that's pretty darn good. Not bad. That is Nightmare Sonic. Uh, five cards. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well... The bad part for them is we've got preparations, so it kind of doesn't matter. Um, let's get rid of... I guess this is pretty good. I don't know. This is good, too. Ooh, yeah. Get rid of that, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, we can lo lock the zone. We just, you know, yeah. And then we can use this to grab back... Um, Either Ogre or Fenrir. So we've already used Ogre. So let's grab face up card. Let's grab... Actually, the extra deck frightens me more. So let's grab Unicorn. Unicorn effects. Yep, because we want to get rid of... There's one card Black Wings have that can pierce, and it's this one. Yeah, and also gains 500. So that's what I was afraid of. Uh, see ya. Yep. Yeah, Black Wings inherently have some piercing effects. So there you go. And there you go. Don't have to worry about that anymore. All right, Lazy. I will. Five cards in the grave now, right? Oh, I still only have four. Right, they banished with Black Sonic. My bad. I will set macro. 
And sure, let's set Avarice as a bluff. All right, and my turn. <laughs> All right. We're getting close here, chat. We might get our first zone lock ever. Five cards in the extra. That was very good by them to banish Diablosis, though. That was clutch. They held on to that Black Sonic for quite a while, honestly. Uh, yeah, I'll activate the effect. <laughs> Why not? Um, what will we grab with this? I guess Ogre is always pretty good. All right, this deck is down to 38 cards. Um, sure, I'll activate this. Why not? Let's grab... So we've got you, you. Let's grab Fenrir. I'll put Fenrir in defense, actually. Oh, oh no. Is it ice cream time? I see some scoops, chat. Oh, sorry, lazy, you know. Yeah, so Interrupted Kaiju Slumber did a lot of work there. Um, yeah, let's look at, you know, we basically saw that this isn't perfect black wings because there's no tongue. So, um, yeah, this card's not even that good, is it? Really? Hmm. Oh, I mean, what's funny is their deck's better than mine. Number one, it's 40 cards. Number two, <laughs> Jim. Number two, they've got three Black Whirlwinds. So by default, their deck's better than mine. Can I really complain? I assure I will. No tongue of yours. Can I complain about this Black Wing deck? I sure I will. I assure I will. I will get Vada on that. All right. Enough of me galing around. Let's, uh, let's wind on out of here. One suture. <laughs> uh, only one Samoon? Mm, I don't know. Maybe they're a new player. Let's cut them some slack, I guess. Maybe they're new. You know, they kind of just got the Black Wing structure deck. Uh, crafted two Black Oral Winds. <laughs> oh, and they could be on some kind of self imposed challenge because. Makes a lot of sense, actually. All right. Maybe they're streaming right now. I uh, need to link summon twice. And these, the rest of these are lifetime. Okay. So to link summon, what deck shall I choose? Well, I think we'll choose... Uh, change decks. Link summon, link summon... Get those back to each. <laughs> no, I, I hardly ever do those. Um, uh, sure, let's do that. And uh, good old agents, you can leave and still get the gems. Wait, what? Wait, really? Hang on, let me surrender here. So here's the reason I don't spectate, Iga. The fun fact. I don't know how. So, uh, you don't mind uh, doing me a favor and teaching me exactly where to click. I would appreciate it. Let's see if we get Venus. Oh, okay, never mind. We're going to uh, lose this duel really quick to Branded Fusion Turbo. Yeah, I figured that. Oh, well, that's, oh, that's actually really good. <laughs> okay. Uh, please don't surrender. Please don't surrender. Oh, and you just press dual live? Dual live. Huh. Okay. So you spectate for like... You have to spectate for like 30 seconds and leave? Or, uh... You know. Dual live. No, don't disconnect, Dooley. No, I have the perfect... Oh, thank God. No, okay, okay, phew, okay. Venus, hostile, Chokan. Response. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Um... Mm. 
Don't scoop, amigo. I need my link dailies. Don't scoop, Dually. It's okay. It's okay, amigo. Just let me link summon. Let's be friends about this. Don't imperm. <laughs> okay, okay, we're good. All right, Venus has to hack you point to down. Mystic shine ball, shimmy shoji. Venus has to hack you point to down. So stay. Mystic shine ball, shimmy shoji. Link shokan itch. Uh huh. Protector of Agents, Zamunda. Oh, I have Monster Reborn. That's also a high consideration. Mm, yes. So I will use the effect to mill. Hmm. <laughs> I forgot I even put this in this deck. Uh, no, but we'll mill Earth. <clears throat> um. Hmm. Let us link a Shokan. Use as two, yes. Before they surrender. Nice. Okay, we got the links we need. Dailies are done. Excuse you. <laughs> yes, now I play Reborn the Monster. This allows me to resurrect Kristen Timothy Taylor. So, this is Cartier Archer. <laughs> we'll grab Fallen. Olympus has fallen. We'll set this card. And then I'll activate the magic card. Reborn the monster. Now I'll take back a monster I sent to the graveyard myself. Behold, Earth. Next thing you know, I'll summon Captain Planet. Then I'll synchro summon. So, by sending materials to the grave that are the appropriate levels, I can bring forth. That's right, the final planet. Luto, executor of the underworld. Come forth. Look at that royal. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? All right, I set a bluff, and in my turn. All right, definitely not the best first turn play, but uh, yeah. All right, shotgun time. And here we go. Shotgun. Okay. We will grab response. Response, Dooley. <laughs> got him. Uh, man, gotta wait for next July for my. Oh, you mean Skull Servant or? Uh... Hmm. Uh, we will set. Oh, gar oh, right, right, right. Yeah, we've been talking about this, Iga. We've been talking. Wait, wait. You said next July? Like in summer? Man, that seems like forever from now. <laughs> but then again, it seems like uh, summer just you know got here. So yeah, I'm. A I love Skull Guardian. Just the design alone is pretty kick-ass, man. It's pretty cool. So. <laughs> also, the fact is, I have memories of using it on Duels of the Roses. That's probably, yeah, because the Ubel set comes out in the TCG. Oh, and J okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I'll, I'll probably, uh, <laughs> my luck with pulling Ubel throughout the history of my life has actually been really good. Oh, Moye. Well, you don't say. Um, yeah, I think, um, hmm. So there's Ashuna. Interesting. You know, I could negate this. <laughs> or I could flip it face down. That is also... Uh... I gotta think here, chat. So, if I just flip it down... Hey, I, I bet my money on you pulling us. Wait, what? Yeah. What? Um, I think I'll fall in this. That's the Ubel Fusion. Ah, okay. <laughs> I had to think there for a second. It was just like, um, am I allowed to say this? <laughs> That's the Ubel Fusion. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. The Ubel Fusion. It's bro yeah, that's yeah, okay, okay, thank you, Iga. Cause I, I was just like translating it in my head. And I was like, wait. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, what? We beat a sword soul player with agents. The hell is happening here? I'm supposed to lose that duel and get salty. What? Yes, thank you, Iga. Thank you very much. Um, okay, let's look at the deck, I guess. Um, how did Sword Soul brick? Well, to be fair, they did have two Maxi in hand. And they showed they had this card. So... Oh, they didn't draw Emergence. Got it. Okay, okay, I was just like... You know, I, get, I was just like, can Sword Soul Brick? I guess if you don't draw this, it, uh... Okay. <laughs> what was their hand? Uh, two Max C, this, this, and they had two other cards. Well, they didn't have Araigeki. We know that. They would have fired that. They didn't have this. So they must have had... Called by MST? But if they had MST, they would have fired it on my Fallen Sanctuary. So they had Droplet? That doesn't make sense either. Okay, what were the last two cards in their hand, chat, for them to break? Because we know they had one, two, three, four. What were the last two cards? They would have fired this. We know they didn't have this because they didn't use it on Venus. Huh. That is, uh... I mean, even this can help you unbrick. So... Ash? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. The brick is called by? I don't know. Maybe they had all three maxi. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, man, that's, uh, huh, anyway, so, I guess said dual live, uh, dual live, dual, this, okay, and then, what do I do, whoa, um, I click here, hmm, okay, Oh, easier way. Wait, what? Yeah, I can't believe they bricked there. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> they might be on the main page on the... Oh! Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Maybe we'll actually watch this one. Ooh, and we can speed it up, too. Okay. Ooh, shiny. Hmm. Okay. Astrograph Pass in Phase Gaming. All right, let's watch some branded combos, chat. <laughs> this is way interesting, more interesting than anything I play, so. Uh-huh. Get Mayor Courier. Then that. Deploy. Maxi. No called by, so we're doing the maxi challenge. Blue eyes, allure, banish despia. Oh, Compulse is nice. Uh, branded, uh, aluber the. Ah, stop the maxi. Smart. I got a full branded deck, and I, <laughs> I got. I've never built branded. I just, you know, my luck is just so atrocious in pulling ultras that I quickly realized it's a bad idea. Uh, Lubelion. So that gets you the Yabba Dabba Doo of the mirror, and then you do that, and then you set Compulse, and then you go into Masquerade, and then. Uh huh. There's still Drunk. There's that, and then this is an OTK. Oh! OTK prevented by. Hang on, let's pause here. OTK prevented by. 
card was that? Oh, I can't rewind. Well, anyway, OTK was prevented by something over here. <clears throat> ah. Destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then you can special summon one monster from your hand. Chronograph Sorcerer. Nice OTK prevention, Pendulum Player. Well done. Well done. Okay. Uh, now what? Ooh, out of gas? Ooh, uh-oh. Well, Jet's not out of gas, but never liked how the... Um... Yeah, it's a lot of... Uh, part of that is Konami. They just, uh... You know, the main threshold is... <laughs> That's a hell of a... Uh, what I was gonna say, I guess, it's not really Albez's fault. It's just, like... You ever notice how Kaleido Heart is like right at 3,000? Um, you know, the main boss monsters, it's like, and if it is above 3,000, it's only slightly. It's like 3,200, 3,100. Yeah, they don't, uh, <laughs> anyway. Konami's pretty, on extra deck bosses, they're pretty, even like Drago's Topalia, it's below 3,000 for a reason. So it's not that hard to take out. Um, not, not that Dragos Topelo is a boss, but my point still stands. Yeah, e I mean, even this card is like, yeah, it's good, but uh, they don't want to go too high. The stat levels of extra deck cards are just about just right, you know, about almost perfect. So, yeah, 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 fusions cap out at about the right spot, so. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, we've got Starving Venom Fusion. Masquerade is doing the Masquerade Dance. Um, and Pulse is going to bounce this. Um, Pendulum's got still some gas. They haven't even Pendulum Summoned, so there's Astrograph. I'm suspecting some Electromite combos here at some point. Unless we haven't seen them yet. Uh, okay, okay. Purple Poison Battle Phase. Hmm, I guess that does work, yeah. Jet, and then... Okay. Jet is just flying back in here. That two pass. Interesting, we still haven't seen Electromite. Yeah, I know. I got, yeah, Pendulum, no links challenge? Yeah, it's possible. Anyway. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe they don't have the craft material. <laughs> ah, that would have been useful turn one. That would have been useful turn one. But, oh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we've got Pro... Skinny on. This is probably a pretty darn good card, if I do say so myself. Uh, yep. So, Max CE. So, active. This is honestly a pretty good duel, honestly. <laughs> Duality. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so they're both under summon limit. The problem is. The pendulum player can under summon limit summon five, you know, all at once. So, dude is smoking tonight. I don't know what dude's doing, but uh, pretty good turn. Got the black fang. All right, gonna use the banishment to bring back mirror jade and also go into Gragunu. Trying to stop the pendulum summon. Obviously, that's you know what you got to do here. Um. Also, still under summon limit, so that's mm, banishing with Jade. So now you got scale five. Oh, changing scales. Yeah, back Astrograph is just pretty good. Yeah. So you only got the Pendulum Summon of one, but it might be enough. Honestly, you still got this for interruption during your opponent's turn. So not bad. Imperm. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do some uh, branded stuff. Mm-hmm. Getting Albion. Mm hmm. Yep, this is the big kicker here. Yeah, you gotta pop that. Um, yeah, you just can't let Albaz fuse with your stuff because then it's game over. Jet is back. Um, this is the problem. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. That's a clutch dissolver right there. Wow, look at that. Royal. This is honestly a pretty good duel. Um, oh, <laughs> There you go. Uh, so, 
All right, Astrograph will make a comeback here soon, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, they're under summon limit, so maybe not. Vortex, okay. Oh, they're gaming, they're gaming, chat. Yeah, unfortunately, the Emperor Miz is just kind of going to... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty... That's a pretty clutch Emperor. Um, Jet is going to fly in once again. This Jet is just soaring in this duel. Uh, the big problem is also... Uh, this guy now has two eights. Uh, is that going to matter? I don't know, but that can lead to some dangerous stuff. Some of them are still live, but uh, we'll see, chat. We'll see. Oh, uh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm rooting for Pendulum, too, but they've got... Look at this card advantage, man. The problem is they're pretty low on life, so... I don't know. Um, <laughs> I didn't even see that. Well, hello, card from 2006, Cybernetic Revolution. Nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a playable card. I don't know what to say. That's, uh, yeah. Okay. They just couldn't get over the attack threshold here. Um, yeah, this is still pretty competitive here. Astrograph is back once again in phase gaming. Mm-hmm. There you go. Okay, now we're seeing some pendulum plays. Yep, Supreme King Dragon. And they should clear clean house here. Uh, Jet will fly in once again. They negated Jet. And GG. Wow. Great duel by the pendulum player here. Uh, one thing I will say is that time pendulograph um carried like that time pendulum graph hard carried as well as some of their uh hand attack effects uh max c double max c yeah max c won the game <laughs> max c I'll, I'll be honest max c won the game but you know you gotta use that time pendulum graph very key not to let uh fallen of albaz you know um resolve so that is pretty key in any branded um, duel there. So that was pretty interesting. Kind of glad we watched that one all the way through. At first, I just started to click out, like you said, and I was like, wait, this is kind of a... Uh... Hold on. Let's let's pause the phone here. That's kind of good. All right, so we get that, and then we get the five. Thanks, you, Iga. Never even knew, and that's how that works. So all right chat well i think this would be a good point to end the stream yeah it's right at three uh here in a minute my little my lovely little nephews will be making a return home we've been going for hours yeah all right well thanks for being here iga as well as anyone else who kind of passed through stop by um yeah good stream good stream um yeah um yeah i got um anyone you recommend we raid out to here or i could i could just quit being lazy and look up a uh <laughs> yes yes that is a that, that sounds good um yeah yeah uh fried rice that sounds great actually chicken fried rice sounds good sounds good um, let me pull up which see who's streaming. Um, anybody playing Yu Gi Oh that I know of? Um, ooh, Melia san. Okay, is that um, does she have any numbers in her username, Ida? Or no, just read. Do, 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 R A I D. Um, nope, <laughs> oh, just that. Okay, well, here we go. All right, guys. All right, and if you happen to watch the VOD or whatever later, appreciate you as always, and uh, see you <laughs> next time. All right. Do 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 do. So we will go. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Iga. Appreciate all your hard work. And, uh, yeah. You know, best of luck, because uh, you're probably going to stream 
uh, tomorrow or well anyway good luck in everything I got you got this all right do 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 yep best of luck all right do 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 And I will unmute right here. <laughs> All right. Settings. Oh, yeah, this thing is can use a break right about now. So unmute Chrome here. That was a pretty good stream, though, overall. Yeah, we just kind of <laughs> kind of worked on some YouTube stuff. And that. <laughs> uh. And let's see, unmute Chrome. Today's sleepy. And, oh, I need to unmute this. Hey, Pokemon, hold on. Today's sleepy Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been rough. It's been, I mean, we had a lot of fun on Duel Links. I'm, go, I'm not going to lie. I had a ton of fun on this stream uh, where we were playing Duel Links. And how soon we switch on this game, the stream became awful. So thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate the support. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I, I just don't get crazy thanks on you guys because this game, you know, it's been awful tonight. It's been horrible tonight. So I'm not going to lie. We, if, if you.